Oh, hi. Howdy, partners. Corpse here with another Diablo RP stream as George Hughes. Hope everyone's having a good week so far. It's, we've already made it through Wednesday and I'm excited because Thursday, tomorrow is my last day for the work week and then, then a four day weekend. Four day weekend. So it's a four day work week this week and it'll be a four day work week next week. Hooey! Bloody ripper, mate. Bloody, fair bloody, bloody ripper, mate. Bloody good stuff. Bloody, bloody, top shit. All right, so tonight, we are off to meet Iron Jaw. Up in the old mountains. So I gotta go. Sorry. Now I heard that if I rent a room out, I can access the wardrobe to access my um my old outfit. So I should be able to easily get my old good snow outfit that I really liked. So we're gonna do do that. Hopefully there's no dramas. If not, I'll just have to bloody well remake it. Hello. Oh, no. Rent a room. Uh, down here, I think. Near the bathroom. Yes. Oh. Um... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Or am I in the wrong one? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not seeing any wardrobes or anything. Maybe... Or is it the one upstairs? Oh, there goes ten dollars. Get out of my way! I gotta find the clothes. The mirror? No. Shit. I'll just remake it. I'll just remake it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. God damn it. All right. Um. All right. So, what did I have again? I need to go. Uh, I think it was a closed coat. It was the big fluffy one. Yeah, is that. Uh huh. Yep. And then I think I had like goggles. Yep. Yep. Um. Uh, I want to. Oh, no, show me the. Um, I think it was just like that. Is it white gloves? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That'll do. Um... Oh, I don't know if I like them actually. I wouldn't know, darling. All right. Just leave me alone. I don't know if I like that. Oh, what was that?
Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Um... And then it was like... The wolf head, I think. I think it was that. Let me check. So many. It's just so gosh darn many. And yeah, I think that was it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. and then, um, Yeah, that might do for now. And then some boots. That was good. Yeah, that looks suitable. Um... Oh, you can't see them. Oh. Alright. Then the tie stays on. Yeah, that might do. Snow. Cool, man. Uh... 
Um... Now, where was I meeting him? Let me just check my... Where was that? Oh, yep. Where the heck am I going? I don't know if I like these pants. I think I had fluffy pants last time. Oh, there's no money. I can't get any others around. Alright, that'll do. I just, I remember I had, I had my snow outfit, how I really liked it. Well, anyway. Wish I could get it back, that's right. I'll have to, I can go through old photos and videos and I can figure that out another time. That'll be right. Alright, let's head on up. And find all... Find all iron jaw. Well, I rented two rooms, Wolfie, and I couldn't see any prompt to find them there. I went through two rooms and there's no sign. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. But hopefully I can get... Solid, uh, solid guidance. But it'll be right. Assuming that's him there. <laughs> Pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Is he in the bush? Anjo! Anjo! Anjo, is that you in the bush? Hey! Oi!
Oi! Anjo. Anjo, I can see you. Wake up, old man. Oi. Hello. Ahem. Hey. Oi. Hello. Wakey, wakey. Yoo-hoo! Anjo! Hey! Hello. 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 Hello! God damn it. <laughs> Silly iron jaw. I can see him. I can see his hat sticking out of the thing. I don't have a horse brush. Oh no, there it is. Or do I have to be like, oh. Oh dear. Definitely gonna need to, um, definitely gonna need to get new horseshoes at the end of tonight, I think. Oh, there is it. Cocoat. Cocoat. Ah. Uh, see. Can I balance on this damn thing? It's a good coat, isn't it? I did. I had um, Valdemar do a um, a uh, early vote for Richard Dome. Oi! Lawrence! Anjo! Lawrence Anjo! God 
damn it. Please vote for me. I'll give you this... This little extra. Please. <laughs> he should be back soon. Oh, the way he's just standing in a bush. And the white hat's poking out. So good. I don't know what we have in store for us tonight. could have done another Deep Rock Galactic Survivor run. Should have spent... I could have spent longer on my, my pants and boots. It's alright, we live and we learn, right? We may, we may get, uh, we may get old Garamy back. That's very true, Rando. 
Very, very true. Now I'm a little nervous because Wednesday night is Guama night. And I don't know. I don't know what the Guamanese are planning. Hope he doesn't pass out from dehydration or starvation. No, Angel, no! Squish needs this dog up on donuts. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> Hello, Anja. Do you can you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's make sure I've got the right audio on. Yeah? Uh, let me see. Might be something in my ears. Take your time. Oh, I could do you so loud. Oh, hi. What are you, what are you even? When did you show up? I just fell asleep for 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, I've been here about f 15 minutes. Oh, I've been sleeping for quite some time. Hey, you were shocking wake up and yelling, Lawrence! Angel! Uh, nothing. I haven't slept properly for quite some time, so I'm just glad I at least got some rest before God knows what's going to happen. That's fair enough. Well, I, I, I packed a, I packed a, a nice snowy outfit like the good old days. Oh, good. Good. And thank you for meeting me down here because this seems to be the. Oh wow, that's a that's a good outfit. Yeah, it's good. I'm I'm like a I'm like a, I'm like a snow wolf. No, that, Can't no see kidding. me. Where'd I go? I, I even I don't know. Looks like my friend Patty that I met. Patty. Yeah, Patty up from the mountains. He's uh he looks just like are you have you been coming up to the mountains telling me you're Patty? No. <laughs> Certainly I'm not. I never looked too closely at him, but you know, the rest of it you've really been here so long. How'd you find me? I was so well disguised. Yeah, your white hat's sticking out of the bush. <laughs> Damn it. Just wanted to make sure I was on time to meet you here, and then just the, the sun, the trees, and the wind. Oh, that's all right. All these things happen, and, you know, man of man of your age needs to get the rest when he can. Thank you. I've, uh, <laughs> there's just so much I need to tell you, and I, I never know where to start. Well, just whatever comes first to mind. Now, you know, I didn't realize how many accounts or how much information had made it down to all the other departments, but when uh, Lou was explaining how there were three people dressed as a mountain man, it made me feel confident that people aren't going to think I'm crazy when I tell them that I've been seeing mountain men for weeks now. I see him every now and then again as well. Don't. It's hard to believe, but I, I, I can say it's been happening to me too. I thought that no one would believe me, so I was just like, I guess this is my lot in life to lose my mind, grow old. But um, recently I've been. Have you? When last did you head up the mountain? I, I don't. I don't think I've been up there since last year. 
haven't seen what's happened to the town. The town? Yeah, you haven't seen anything unusual happen up there? Uh, not, no. Okay, that's why I said you should meet me here. Because I've been spending my time... I move around up there. I used to live in a small cabin, but I feel that the safety of it was lost as, as weeks passed. But um, I thought if we started here and moved through the river, I know this sounds a little bit silly, but if we make our way up the river, at least no one will be able to track us. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, do I need my horse? That's a good question. We, we better go on foot. I think we should... Let's try to go on foot. All right. So, I, Onyx, get out of here till I call you, boy. Don't get out of here. Don't go in the pond. Yeah, that's no. Nope. I said don't go in the pond. That, oh, he's going for a dip. Come on. Yeah. All right. Onyx is fine. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, it's a dog. That's justice. Oh, hi, I justice. I find him. Out of partner. He's uh, he doesn't talk much, but he <laughs> he helps. If he starts barking, we best start running. All right. All right, well, you lead on. Oh, and George, did you bring, you know, a, 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 a kind of a stable hand and a, and a lot of, you know, how to back that hand up? Oh, All right, that one's pretty good. I'll do my best. Let me make sure. I brought this. I have 12 firearms strapped between this, the, this coat. Did you say 12? Oh, only 10. Only 10. Oh. Well, that, that's one for each finger. <laughs> What's a hey, Dad, car? Oh, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, shit. I think I'm good. All right. Uh, wait, oh, my knife and my lasso. I've got my ceremonial axe. You know. Oh. The one Miss Tyler gave me is, you know, protector of West Elizabeth. No, I didn't even know that. It was a, we, it was like a ceremony and everything. I had to, I had to, I had to box her. You had to box her? And then I, I had to know. smoke opium. I didn't know about any of this. A little sp spirit world and shit. But you can, okay, let's, we might as well walk and catch up at this rate. All right. No, no pocket. Justice. He's probably spooked. You probably wonder why there's a dog walking on hind legs in here. <laughs> that is a good point. It's also good to see you. It's been so long. Oh, it's good to see some friendly faces after all the stress I've been through. Yeah. Months in Guam as a farmhand sleeping on a you know prison cell, picking and eating bananas. That, I mean, you had, it sounded terrible until you got to the bananas. Oh, look, you know, having a beach right there and an endless supply of bananas, yeah, that was probably the best part. But the whole, you know, them acting like, you know, they knew who I really am, but pretending that I'm this Enrique David Beanfeller and taking me for a ride, just... Especially the beans. Pretty part. horrible. Now, I figured if we enter the water here, I mean, we could do it here or way up. Further. It seems it could look very silly if we can't make it up these rapids. I am getting no. Gotta be careful moving water. Maybe just stay to the, the edge. <laughs> I mean, this is quite a walk. That's fine. So, so um, I did lots of walking around Guam. It was very hot. So the cold do be some good. Yeah, no, that's good. You're looking, you're looking trim. So I mean, to help, you know. <laughs> that's all the bananas. I've always wondered where bananas came from. Like, come from Guama and Guama. Yeah, see, I, I had no idea. Um, that's not all they're growing out there. They're growing, God, peanuts and drugs and you name it. That's Peanuts come from there as well. I saw a peanut in the store yesterday. Yeah, they were very excited when they got their peanut seeds. Right, so it's peanuts up there. Bananas and peanuts. That's a hell of a hell of a haul. I think they hide the drugs. You know, they, they use the fruit and that as like a cover. 
I mean, why would they? They could just sell bananas and peanuts. Well, not really that they need a cover, but they can do whatever the hell they want out there, and then they, then they bloody ship it here. That's interesting. There's no, I mean, I hate to ask, but there's no beans up in Guama. Uh, not that I recall. Okay. Hey, Hammer. Um, I know that showing up at Freeman's funeral, I was keeping it, trying to keep everything very quiet, but that Goodman fellow, I still don't trust him since the day he showed up. He's a funny one. He's I definitely he's a doing funny a lot one. Of good work, but as soon as he was listening on what's happening up here, I didn't know what, what I should say and what I should. I don't blame him. Some of the troubles we've had with the department over the last year. And Smiley, you, well, you remember that, how much convincing it took him to believe about the beans and the mountain man. Now he's exactly. a bloody marshal. Oh, and then seeing three mountain men, I mean, I'm, I've am i got some theories, so, you know, I, keeping an eye on this place, I'm, I'm going to show you one of the places that I've started to spend my time. All right. But, um, I think the most mysterious thing about this whole area is that every single person I've met has never come back. Oh, my God. So I met people who said they've been here for 10 years. You know, they're living away from the, the city and they say, I'll see you tomorrow and the next day comes and the next day and the next day and I never see them again. And these are all people that are used to living in the mountains in dangerous conditions? See, they all look like it and they, they definitely have the, the feeling of someone who, you know, could deal with themselves if they get into trouble and I've never seen any one of them ever again. Uh... And then... Very recently, something happened to the town, which is half the reason I started living in the town. Oh, something uh, tells me I'm not going to like what I see in this town. I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out. It's not... I think what scares me is that it's not even... You know, if there were, God forbid, corpses or, you know, uh, totem poles and whatnot around the place, I almost feel like I'd be more willing to understand that it is a place where something bad is happening but something's happening in the town that's just off putting oh. which makes it worse oh now you know whenever we've gone up in these mountains it's never ended well i know which is half the reason coming up here um well my theory is i have seen a total of seven different mountain men I mean, I can't say different, but I've had seven Titans. And to hear that there were three of them at once, I've seen two of them at once. Uh, they, I assume they're leaving me alone in the belief that they're confident that I don't know what they're up to. Which, you know, to be honest, I don't. So, uh, I can't quite tell if that's, if it's good. If it's one of those things, you know, if you leave it alone, maybe it's just kids dressing up as a mountain man. Hey, yeah, we had, had Halloween back in October. Hey, when did you first come out here? God, I don't know. It feels like years ago. Jeez. When did, uh, you were, when we were all promoted to, to, I don't know. Yeah, when was What's that? What's your rank now? Uh, well, on account of me being missing for a while and the, you know, the casual brainwashing, they've, uh, popped me back down to corporal as on a trial basis and then, if everything goes well, they might bump me up back up to captain. Amazing. I remember being given this post and thinking to myself, this is either the best or the worst situation. As I've always, I've loved these mountains, but in this, uh, the home of the mountain man just feels like a problem. Mm. So I'm, I'm not even sure what my rank is anymore. Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, my boots wet. I know we're not quite hiding our tracks, but at least this way it's in some ways no one's going to see a long line of footprints, you know, chase after them. No good, I didn't lose you all justice. Nah, I'm right. Just, it's a little slippery. So I brought, you know, a new dog, Justice, but I also have, uh, well, it's not a new dog, it's just, it's, you know, since I've seen you last. And then I brought Justice, my pistol. Oh, very nice. Yeah, this was, uh, I remember the first day everyone got off the trains. They had that event down in Blackwater, the saloon. They oh, ran yeah. that raffle. Yeah, and this is the one that I managed to win. Oh, that's right. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That takes me just, back. Yeah, just feel. I got that, and I have. What else do I have on my back? Ah, uh, you got the. Got this one that the sheriff back in the day uh, gave me this Evans repeater. Wolf. Yeah, he gave me this Evans when um I can't remember. I think it was a drug bust in Saint Denis. Ah. It was uh. I spent maybe six, seven hours just standing on the balcony so that I could get a photo so I could finally figure out what was going on. And I managed to get a photo and catch someone putting something in their horse saddlebags. And he said, here you go. And then I found out the next day that he had just taken it off the drug dealer, handed it to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lucky you. So, uh, yeah, so I was like, all right. I put a scope on it uh, back, you know. I know those scopes are frowned upon with long arms. Well, I out here, you need to get all the advantage you can get exactly that's why i've still got this i mean what's on my back what's this one called the uh, yeah. winchester yeah winchester? i think so. one that uh jesse borrowed in that um that f fight we had against the mexican army oh yeah oh that was a hell of a time was, you know to see up here there's no bank so Kind of just end up walking around with, you know, coffee, and water, bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, not beans anymore, but Ugh. from time to time. I'm on beans. a break from beans. That, that is a good decision. But, um, yeah, I really don't know. I mean, up here, you'll see what's happened to the town. Essentially, someone's come in and boarded the place up and thrown barricades and whatnot around the place. And then I found a... Uh, what looks to be a wagon train that's been abandoned. Looks like it's been burned out. Around it as well, oh. barricades. I set up a, a small little tent, a little hideaway with a bed there. So, I have to say about a week and a half ago, uh, I came back to my house and I could see that someone had started a fire just outside the front of the house. Oh. I saw two men dressed just like, you know, the mountain man standing around in the windows and silhouettes so I haven't been back since I don't blame you I was hoping to when I, I heard you went missing I heard actually that in, the stories can get kind of hard getting up this way I'd heard that you were both made some type of king I'm not sure that was the hardest one oh uh, I yeah heard. well I I was I was island hopping and you know I was I've become quite good at finding coconuts, eating nothing but coconuts, and fighting crabs and that, so I, I may become the coconut captain. Oh, now that's where the... Okay, because then I, I heard you were also uh, killed, thrown off a pier, died, which I was... I couldn't tell what I was supposed to believe and what I wasn't, but... Well, no, I, I received an urgent letter from... I got extended family back in the... Uh, back in England and that. So, uh, my, what I set out to do was to, to take my steamboat up the coast, up to, you know, New York or something like that, and catch a, ca catch a ship over there. Um, and that's the last lot of people saw me, and then I, I don't know, I guess the ship sank or crashed or I was thrown off. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, oh, my God. Was that you? No, that wasn't me. Was that you? Uh, no, it wasn't me. What was that? Was that Justice? What the hell was that? Justice. Does your dog you usually whole time. groan and moan? Well, he only barks when there's danger around, but he's been barking all day, so I couldn't tell something else wrong with him. Was that was that with like maybe a you know the like trees? Like, is he is he pooping? He's pooping. That could be uh. I have no idea what that noise was. Oh, it was you. Oh, no, I, I, it sounded... I could feel it inside my skeleton. Oh. If I'm a zombie, you put me down. All right, same for me. If I become a zombie, just put me down. All right, do you? Now, I should say that Patty is the only person up here in the mountains that I've seen more than once. Who? Uh, Patty, Who's... you look like Patty. Okay. But Patty's up there. He's a good man. He's, uh, I see him from time to time, just trading in skins. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, well, when we see someone that looks like you. Remember that it's not you, it's Patty. Well, speaking of people that look like me, do you remember way back in the day? Do you remember uh, Julian Phillips? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> he's back. But no, he's not. He looks completely different. He looks like me with an eye patch. In that eye patch does help. It doesn't hurt. Has he lost an eye, or is it just because I think so I many saw people some thought scars. it was I think he got clawed on the face, and it hurt his eyeball. Now that's interesting. Yeah, he's 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 back. But yeah, I I didn't recognize him. I recognize the voice, but physically, he looks like a different man. Now, amazing how many things change. I mean, I heard Harkness' voice, and I couldn't see where he was, and he got rid of his mustache. Oh, he, he changes hairstyles like he changes outfits. I was a little bit sad. That's fine. A, they only they can grow back. That's true, but every time they grow back, it's never quite as strong as the last time. Or it's stronger. What? I can't remember. It's one of those. He might have had a date or something. He might have had to shave it. No choice. That's true, man. Justice is, justice is just barking and barking and barking. Is he cold? No, you dogs just, get cold. He usually tells me trouble's coming. Justice. Well, well I don't. I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. He's still coming. Um. So I think I thought I'd bring you to the town. We'll see if we can see Patty. All right. And Patty looks Who's like me. Yeah, Patty looks like you. Now I've been—I spent a lot of time crawling in the in the snow just because. I mean, it's a real. These mountains just play tricks on you. you. Hear voices, you see things, and you just think, "I'm the only one out here." Well, it's it's a lot of white, like like Guama. It's a lot of green. The, and out That's in the true. west, it's a lot of desert. It, it's a it's a it can be a bit much. I never thought about it that way. I look at this. This is how I usually, I usually get myself in one of these trees. A hell of a way to keep your hey, eyes Where'd you peeled. go? See? Amazing. Then also, you can always, uh... Hi, Joe. Hello? Whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, Joe. Oh, you stop. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. part of... Did you see a man up there? Wait, where? Don't. Don't make it obvious. Okay. Uh, the rocks to your left. Did you see a man up there? Wait, um, which rocks? So the ones to my right. Wait, my left? Your left, my right. No. I think, I think someone really made fire up. I don't know if I saw someone. Right, this is what I was worried about. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't get a good look. Maybe let's make it into the water. Okay. Might be cold though. But... Ah, it's already cold enough. It'll be, I'll be fine. It's true. Hey, where's Justice? Good. All right. Just, just shoot. There, somewhere. Bark, he's barking. So, um, I thought we can go into town. I mean, I was waiting for you once I heard, so I thought you might be dead. Hadn't heard about, heard from Freeman, haven't heard from, uh, oh, what's his name? Who's that other recruit that came with us in all of our escapades? Uh, wait, cross the lake. You see that? There's another man. There's a man. Where? Cross the lake. Where? Fast, opposite side from us. You see someone? Oh. Oh my god, it's a mountain man. Where'd he go? Wait, he's what? Looks like a mountain man. Oh, 
Oh, Looks like a man, man. We're not even up in the mountain yet. You sure? No, I saw. I mean, it was a man with a beard. And I saw a flicker of fire for a second. Oh, it could be a hunter. No, it is cold up here. Beards help. There's no way. A second ago, no, there's no way he's right over there or anyone's right over there. Do we it's go just have water. a look? All right, let's, let's go. I was trying to keep us low profile, but it seems that if he was moving real fast. All right, let's have Your a go. Call. Have a look. I don't know what choice we got. As far as crimes around here, honestly, not very much happens. I mean. Occasionally, hunters will yell at each other, but all in all, hunters are some of the most respectful, responsible individuals I've ever met. Is this ice okay? Uh, to be honest, I don't much walk on it. But I'm, uh, I'm happy to go round. Oh, oh shit! Was that a bullet? What was that? I don't know. What was that noise? I didn't hear anything. I can't tell if that would sound like a bullet just shot by. Was it a scraping of the ass? Yeah, no, maybe it was. God, these old age diseases playing up on me. It was. Who was that? Top, that's a gunshot. That was a shot. Who was that? I heard that one. We should just make it to town. I'm trying to find out who's been messing with the town for a whole week now. Could just be a hunter. We might have to head left. The, I don't think we can make across that gap in the ice. Town is behind us. What? That was to the left, wasn't it? Was, right, was it over that way? I just heard the the, the elk or whatever. <laughs> Which way is the town from here? It should be this way. I don't know. Okay, no, let's go. Let's go to the town. Okay. I'm, At least I'm, then I'm we feeling... got a landmark. Yeah, you've been having some here with me. It's making me too confident. Oh. Easy. We can make it across here. Okay. <laughs> You're spry for my age. But, um, Freeman. Yeah. It's a crying shame. Yeah. That was rough. That's bullets. It's definitely bullets. The animal's running that way. Let's run to the town. Okay. Another bullet. All right, let's keep going. Hunters? Hope they don't mistake us for game. It's in my mind. Well, I didn't Did hear you... that one, but I heard the one before. Hey, you didn't hear a bullet fly past us? Nope. But but my ears Sweet. are covered by a lot of a lot of fur. I wonder where that's come from. It could be hunters. It also could be so much more. One's wounded animal looks like over there. Uh, let's just stick to the tree now. Sun's gone down on jaw. Oh God, you're right. Let me, uh, who's that? What's that moving over there? No, it's a deer. All right, let's keep. We, we might want to be inside by night. Is the town close?
Oh, uh, down here. Is there a cabin or something nearby? One straight ahead of us. Or do you think, can, could we make the town? Oh, you're right. Let's go to the cabin. That's a good thing. Is it going to get colder? And we're going to lose visibility. Go through the water. You sure? Oh, um, maybe we should go around. You're right. I just, that ice. Fall in, you might might be a goner. Oh dear. That that small bit wet you know damn it, where's that cross? This bit looks alright. A bit narrow. Yeah, stand! Oh god. <laughs> oh, this river. Oh, I see it. It usually keeps rations and fire going. It's one of the best places you'll ever find. What the hell happened? What the hell happened to Patty? Patty! It's caved in! <gasps> His dog's dead. Is, that's my dog. Justice. Wait. Was it Justice just behind us? George, that's my dog. But Justice was behind us. He was behind <laughs> Oh, do you hear that? You killed my damn dog. Where was that from? I have no idea. Justice. Oh. What? Justice. This Justice. this place don't look good at all. I can't tell if he's if he's still breathing or not. Oh my god. What was that? I have no idea. Doesn't sound like a glacier. No, doesn't sound like trees are. George, uh, I didn't have justice for long, but uh, I mean, Joel, in... where's this damn town? All right, we're gonna have to make it to the town. Oh my god! This was Patty's cabin. Patty, if well, you I think are... Patty's dead. I think Patty's dead. How did my dog even get here? I don't, I don't see any see. footprints, Angel. He's still, he's still breathing. Oh God! There's another cabin up here around the around the corner. I hope it's intact. Oh my God, Patty is dead. Well, we don't, we don't know, but he's he's definitely homeless. Patty, <laughs> what is that? No. I'm sorry. This is why I didn't reach out. It's I wanted fine. To <laughs> I wanted to get Freeman and Tommy. You know, you and me and Freeman and Tommy, maybe Wyatt. I wanted you to come in today to see if I was crazy or not. And if you're hearing those voices, I'm you're seeing hearing these things. it. But maybe this is something we need to get the whole department up here for. Yeah, see if we make it back. Please, Justice. Is there a telegram yeah. station at the town? Oh. Oh my god. So, I'm hoping that Patty wasn't over at his cabin. I mean, that looks like a burned out 
at least a day ago. Hope is that maybe Patty's up in the town. And he's got, well, now there's the law, and then sometimes there's frontier law or like martial law, and then there's street law. Right. Now, you know, native law. Well, in the mountains, we got this thing called mountain law. And uh, so Patty, in case he's kind of got a in case of in, in, in case of emergencies, break glass situation. If his cabin's been burned down and he knew that I was going to be meeting up with people from the department, uh, I'm hoping we get to the town and he's got every single gun, every single bullet, every single explosive he's collected over the last 20 years over there. Well, I'm preparing myself to find the town looking like Patty's cabin. Oh, but it's kind of the only reason I had the confidence to bring you up here today. I think we just we follow the river all the way to the town. All right. <laughs> this is going to be okay. Who it's hurts a, a dog like now. that? No, who shoots? Dog named Justice, no less. Okay, have you heard of a better name? Well, all the other law-related names in the department were taken. You had Sheriff the dog, Deputy the dog. Like, you're not going to call a dog recruit. That'd be, that'd be kind of funny, though. I don't feel like I should. So, well, I'm still trying to figure out some information that have kind of set off this last couple of days. The fact that, okay, so Patty, good friend. Now, he and I have been swapping whiskeys from time to time, as I was saying. Only person that seems to not disappear up in this mountain range. He started talking about a man that he met who uh, had to get himself a new name because he was scared of people finding out his old name. No name? He said that uh, if anyone found out his family name, he was scared what would happen to his father was going to happen to him. His father? And I thought, you know, that's just a story, oldest time, as many people would have. People changing names, worried about maybe retribution or blood feud or something, some such. Turns out that this fella was worried because his daddy's name is the same name that was printed in the general store in Tumbleweed. What was the name? I can't remember the name. It's the same one on there. I went down there just to check. Let me have a look in my little notes. Was, uh, Those wolves? Uh, Chambers. Uh oh. Mavis Chambers. Whose dad, his name was Mavis Chambers. This man who talked to Patty said that he was worried that, oh my god, there's someone with the, over there. Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Oi! Oi! Hey! He ran in! What's this? That's what I'm saying. Was that cross last time you were here? I didn't see the cross last time. What's it say? Oh, is this, is this a... This is, there's a few skulls on, Joel. And look, I was here just this morning. I don't remember seeing any of these. The fires I saw, fences I saw. The town don't look too friendly right now. Want to go inside? It's getting dark. Yeah, it's gonna get cold. Who's that over there? Where? Hey, what's that? That fellow with the torch again. We gotta, justice. We gotta get your dog inside at least. All right, come on, justice. So uh, I met this man, Mister. You know, last name meant to be Chambers, and he was worried because his daddy. Uh, Mavis Chambers ran the Tumbleweed General Store. He was worried that people might find out who he is because it turns out that his daddy was killed by a group of men right after signing over the deed of the general store. Killed his dad, killed his mom, killed his family. How do we get in? 
God damn, someone's blocked this up as well. I think I saw the the fella ran in ran the left. Oh, looked like it might be a way in. No. Well, this whole place up. Hold on, I can climb over this. Oh, justice. Oh, oh, good. Uh, oh, justice. Justice, no. Yeah. See what's happened here? This is very different to what I remember. Oh, this used to be where I lived. Oh, I'll probably hold up in here. Oh, careful. Oh my God, what have they done to my house? This is filthy. And this was the most beautiful uh, cabin in the old area. I don't look good. What was that? You keep hearing that, George. Am I going crazy? No, I heard. I heard this weird echoey voice. Okay, wait. Are you going crazy? <laughs> well, if if one of us was crazy, we would, well, what did you hear? I uh, I heard a voice say, "Some time to add another one to the hive." What I heard. Said? I heard fire, but hive sounds like fire. It's way worse. I'd rather be added to a hive than a fire. Yeah, I'd rather be a bee than a bit of kindling. Another one to the fire? What kind of fire? Well, whoever was, here, was last here loves fires. There's fires everywhere. I right, just put Justice down and it does look like they're going to be okay. I don't know if he just... Stars. We better check these buildings. Might yeah, be someone some... here. I spent weeks watching this town. A week straight watching this town. Not weeks. But before that, before all this happened, this happened fast. Come on, let's, let's take a look. I don't want to get surprised by some hobo. Hello? I've seen before. Hello? Justice Department. Wait, Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's, yeah, Sh Sheriff's Department. Hello? Place ain't looking too good either. You hear whistling going on? I thought that might be in the wind, but yeah, I think that's whistling. Oh God! Someone has come along here and ruined every house. Do you want to? Do you want to check the houses clockwise or random? I don't know anymore. There's only a handful more we can even go into. I mean, the rest have burned out years ago. Church over there burned out. These ones over here, but this one's our right. Now, this one. Let's get it all yeah. with. There should be a whole bunch of supplies in here. Well, fuck. What was that? He said. I can't, just, I can't understand it. I can't understand, but I also don't want to understand. I don't know what I don't know what the wind wants from us. This place was. George, I'm telling you, Patty and the rest of you know the crew that he was working with before I got here. This place looked immaculate. I'll take your word for it. It's not a set with Patty. We have whiskeys in this room. Ah. Uh, Apple's pears and your hues. It's us. Hold on. What's... It's been 
It's getting more specific. I've never been one to, uh, you know, believe in all those ghosts and werewolves, vampires. I mean, none of that stuff is real, right? I don't think so. Hello? Oh, this looks, looks okay. Had it. This is a fire inside. Oh, it's a little bad. Patty, if you are here, Patty, you have to tell me it's on, Joel, remember? Now, I know you said do the secret knock, but I'm here with a friend, and if I do the secret knock, then he knows about it, and then it isn't a secret anymore. All right, I'm going to have to do the secret knock. All right, well, the secret knock is there is no secret knock. That's a trick. Oh, so, how do you knock? You don't knock, and then he knows it's me. Oh, uh, uh, I see. I stand uh, at his door and I wait. He eventually opens it. A foolproof system. What if he's asleep? And if he's asleep, he usually takes a while to open it, but he does. Because the winds are cold. Is that a saying? So how many people lived here last you? Last you saw. All right, so when I showed up in town. This place was thriving. About 10, 15 hunters visitors. coming and going. You have visitors? I just said we have visitors. Is that. Is it the wind with the voice? Are we the visitors? Or are there other visitors? I have no. Snow's coming down pretty hard. If we stay here in the night. I was going to show you about that abandoned a wagon ring. How far is it? It's not too far. You can see the town from it. It's on the way to the glacier and the house. Well, if you feel like we can get there and back without getting frostbite, I'm up for it. Or we can wait out, wait out the night. Got to try and... Okay, so whoever that is we saw before... They either a hunter playing tricks on us or it's someone trying to pretend to be the mountain man. Yeah. Now, the fact that they've had sightings of three and I once saw two and I've seen a total of seven sightings feel like it might be a group of people taking over here, maybe in tribute to who he was. Well, unless they're real fast runners, it's got to be more than one. That's that's good. That's my thoughts were it's just one real fast runner. Well, it could be. Living out here, real you get fast. strong. Swift. Yeah, you ever hear about that uh, farmer? Five-day ultramarathon? No, can't say I have. The farmer showed up to ultramarathon. He had uh, big boots and o overalls. The first day, he placed last in the race. But he kept on going for two in the morning. About two hours later, got up and he kept going again. He ended up winning that... Open a window. I might want to open a window. I'm telling us... God damn it. He won the ultra marathons, my point. Oh, good on him. Farmer broke records. The slowest runner in the race, and he came first. What window are we supposed to open? Hold on, is that is that dawn? Or is that just what, what time? Was that noise? What, what time is it? I think, that's, I think I'm cold. Cold. Yeah, just a little, stay. Just a little maybe chilly. Maybe stay in here for a bit. I, just, I don't know what time it is. I think I think the sun's rising. Nah, nah. I'm. What is that? Knock, knock. What? So George, this is my point. This is all crazy. Every time I'm up here, I thought... Get out the window! Hey! There's a guy in the window! Oh, Patty. Is that Patty? That was a spooky guy from before. 
so patty about the mountain man, so it might be patty. He, he didn't stop saying, oh, he ran. Well, I did shoot at him. It could have been, like I said, the mountain law up here is very different to that city folk law. You tell me. So if someone scares you, you have the right to shoot them. That what you did was totally acceptable in mountain law. <sighs> I hope so, but he didn't announce himself, so I saw it as a threat. Yeah. Going on. The wolves out here. That don't sound good. Oh, what are they getting out there? Coming, coming, coming. Oh, God. Anjo! Right, let's go. Boom. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm Damn, my old legs. Wolves! Jesus Christ. Didn't know what to expect coming up here, and I feel like I still don't know what's going on. You're telling now me! I'm gonna run up this river and turn up to the left. There's actually a hill if you come up here. Okay. What happened is one day there was a group that kept telling me about how they're waiting for a wagon load mm -hmm. a wagon train to arrive what were the wagons carrying oh, i can't hear you oh, i'm joe i'm getting tired i'm joe on the on the mountain where up there straight ahead where i'm pointing the man I'm too, I'm tired. Oh, Jesus, there's a man behind us in the town. You know, a man down there at the glacier. I, I see the wagon you're talking about. See, that's the thing. When I got here, this place, was, there were so many people here. <laughs> and then one by one, and I'm talking about in one day, they all went away. Oh. Now, Patty was the only one that I kept seeing day in, day out. Now, first I thought Patty might be the one that made everyone go, but I mean, him... Telling me the stories of that man who owned the general store. He told me that he moved up to the mountains because it was a place to be safe and away from. If this is Patty. Oh, Patty there! Do this. There! Where? Yoy! Come out yeah. of there! Hey! Oh, shit. I ain't making that jump. Oh, damn. Show yourself! Did you see him? Oh. Damn. He's right there. Damn. Damn beard. Can't. I don't know if that looks like a cover beard. Can't. Catch him. There! Yeah. Oh, He's the there. other right. side! See? I feel like I want to. I can't shoot. I mean, Mountain Law, I can't shoot at the man. This, we've, this guy's been messing with us. Out of there! You there. Father He's Sheriff running again! Look, I'm going to look away because this is breaking multiple codes of Mountain Law. Oh, oh, did I break Mountain Law? It's hard to, look, if I don't see it happen, technically, it's not illegal. Okay. It's a part of Mountain Law. Oh, it's... it's 
Where's his wagons? Some ass. Where's his damn wagons? Dude, that's the same way he was coming from. See up there, oh. there on top of that ridge. Why? Why would they? Why would they take such a dangerous path? I know. See, so many questions. Now, this group came through and said, on the, just those first couple of days, said that there was going to be a wagon loads. And are you ready for this, George? No. Shoot. There's going to be wagon loads, and I'm talking about wagon loads on wagon loads on wagon loads of what? Of cocaine and beans. Cocaine and beans? Now I said, look, I'm I'm a sheriff's department member, and you know this, you shouldn't be telling me that. And they said, no, 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 they got the paperwork. It's a whole shipment that's going to come through. Those men were waiting, and day next day I woke up, and they weren't here. I saw this whole wagon train. Oh. <laughs> I this is not a good place to bring a wagon. Swagging, that's it now. Walk up this hill. Oh, it's a, a real sweet spot. There, there. Put your hands up. Just falling right down the hill. You. What is it? I that's, know these are. That's dangerous. Look, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is just satins. Patty and I are the only two ever around here anymore. Between us two, it's just a bunch of people wearing beards. I haven't seen them so active. What is this goddamn patty? And look at this. These. Now these soldiers. What the hell is this? I have no idea. I set up a little tent over here when I... This is my little hideout. Oh, this is you? Yeah, just the fire, the bed. It's not a great sleep, but it's, it'll do you in a pinch. Nice. See, from here, I've been able to watch the town. Yeah, right there. Man on a horse. Where? In the town right now. He's top, a topless man near a horse. He's going. Looks like he's... You see him? Is that Patty? I'm about to eat. And Patty usually looks like you. I haven't seen him be a topless like that. It could be Patty. We, we could go down there. If I've been coming up here watching the town. Except for talking to they Patty. They ain't no smoking. See, I mean, I have no idea. Ah! What ah! the heck is that, Patty? You son of a bitch! Get back here! Come here! Come here! Ah! 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 Hey! Get him! Hey! Come back here! Ah! 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 Oh! You son! Come here! Ah! Is Get a look, get a look at his face. <laughs> no, really, it all happened too fast. Where the hell did he come from? He's running to town, down to the. Jesus. Fell with the horse. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now look, if he follows mountain law, he can't enter any of those buildings unless he's been invited. That's a so, thing? So if he goes into one of those buildings without being invited, 
we can make sure the owner of the building said he wasn't allowed in, then I am allowed to arrest him or shoot him. All right. I'll tell you what, for it. We got to figure out, is this man, who is this man dressing up as a mountain man? Son of a bitch. I can't see shit. Is that horse still there? Um. He just, he just went into a house. Put your hands up. Out the back door. This way. Follow the tracks. Go over this fence. Tracks is in. Where'd the fellow with the horse go? No. Saw him too, right? I did. The horse? I did. That's the Where thing about the mountain. Every single time I see someone in this town, by the time I get down here. Justice. It's Justice okay. okay? Justice. It's okay. He's breathing. Oh, thank Just God. got through his coat and made a whole bunch of mess of blood. Smart he was. Is it one man or is it three people? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but they're really fast. It could be just one fast runner. I, the last thing I heard the wind say was, come find me. Can you remember where he lived? Oh, Jesus. I didn't even think about that. No. George, he, this can't be the mountain man. This just has to be someone else running around as mountain man. He oh. wouldn't know he lived there. We want to know for sure. We got to grab him, but he's slippery. I can barely hold on to him. Thought you had him for a second, and I just saw him just kind of lie to the left. I don't know what happened. So we go up to the glacier. I think we're going to have to. See what's happening in my town? Not good. Looks like it would have been a nice place. So nice. It's just the disappearance is the problem. Well, the disappearance is now there'd be no one and you know, them burning down Patty's cabin. These wrecked houses on the right, they've been that way for a while. Jesus. Now have you been up? What was that? What happened? What's... Is this pet? Is this justice? Wait. Justice? Justice, what are, you, what are you doing? You just fell out of the sky! Justice? Are you, did you limp here? I didn't see what happened. He fell out of the sky. I, I, I don't know. I, well, I'm taking justice with. Okay. Now the, the glacier is just around the corner from that hill that I've been spending my time on. Yep. Man, it appears out of nowhere. There's three, four places at once. Now, George, here, I mean, I want to say this as quietly as possible. Here's what I don't understand. There's, there's people disappearing everywhere. Mm -hmm. Wagon loads of cocaine and beans coming through here getting hijacked. Mm -hmm. And no one's left but me. But, and I'm scared to say it, but I just feel like I'm being left here for a reason. Maybe to be just played with. That's what it feels like. Now, they got is, his ha well. is his cabin still on the mountain? Still two. There's two cabins up there. Why is there two now? You haven't seen the other cabin? Why hasn't anyone burned it down yet? I tried. Uh, 
What do you mean you tried? I mean, snow gets so cold up there right oh. next to Glacier. You're gonna have to go there with axes and take it down. Oh, I've brought an axe. I'll chop it down by myself if I have to. This is the hardest part. I can't tell which crimes, if there are crimes happening or not around here, because I don't have anyone to talk to anymore. No way I'm talking to that man with a beard. Well, he, he won't even... He's there again. He's there again. Oh, he's... Fucking... He's moved away. Oh, my God. We... He's back! We go to... We go to the cabin. He... Oh, he didn't even flinch! What are you shooting at? The man! Sorry, Jazz. Look at him! I don't see anyone. It's fine. I got a photo. I got a photo, Anjaw. Oh, good. All right. That's him. Right, you got a photo? That's good. I got a goddamn photo. What if what if I run left and you run right? We get up there. You go left, I go right. Okay. Right. On your, on your signal. Okay, three, two, one, go. Where'd he go? He's gone. They ain't any, even any. Oh, he's, over, he's over there now. Yeah. Where the hell he go? Oh, Jared! Oh, oh, oh! Ah. Ah. I got you now, you son of a bitch! Stop! Hands! Let me see your hands! I got him. Freeze! Who are you? Let me go. Who are you? Uh, apple, apple, spare time. Shh. Who are you? We need. The I'm. Mountain Man's dead. He's dead. Who? Stop! Stop repeating that list. Stop repeating. You shot him? Did you Not. Shoot him? Okay, I'm just, I was like, I, 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 no, I didn't, I did not. I was, okay, I, I was promise. playing bad cop. I don't, okay, you play bad cop, I play good cop. cop. Stop your mumbling. Do you have Do you have any handcuffs left over? I've still got a pair on me. Yeah. Okay. What if I untie him? You handcuff him real quick. Wait, hold on. I'm going to. Shut up! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hold on. Why is this not? All right, I'm ready. Okay. Ah, you be ready now. Don't you do anything silly. Oh no! I'm enjoying your comfy! Get them on me! You put them on me! No! 
no! Oh no! Oh no! He's getting away! Go, go, get quick, away! Quick, quick! <laughs> oh no! Hurry! Oh, bitch. oh my god! He's I thought away. myself, where did I put them? He I put swear them on my hands! <laughs> He's trying. Don't, he's don't. in and out. Wait, no, it's a deer. Don't tell anyone. There, he's here. <laughs> God damn it. Stop. You sack of shit. <laughs> I'm getting a stitch on, John. Come here. No. Get on the face. Come here. You son of a bitch. I got him. Got hand. Wait, is he? Oh, where he go? Oh, Look at <laughs> that! No! No! Oh. Ah! I think he got him. I think he got him on the right wrist this time. All right, sir. We've got you now, you son of a bitch. Tell us what your name is and what you've been doing up in these mountains. Yes, he got one. Get him in. Get him in one of them houses. Right. You can't have to ask, Colin. Can't? Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck, I got hey, get, get over there! <laughs> hey, Mr. Fino. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, so you think it's funny to be impersonating a serial killer? I think it's a good idea to be running around these mountains scaring an old man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, John. Oh. Him. So oh my god! Well, he's still in handcuffs. Man man. <laughs> Joy. Hey, game train, hey, go, mate. Oh my. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too good at this, George. But uh, oh my god, who's the that? animals. Who's All right, now, George, get ready. I'm about to put. I've never done this before. Oh god! <laughs> hey, Mrs. Phenom. Oh what? my god, it worked. Yeah, you know how old that morphine is? How old that is? Oh. You you remember when the doctors oh. first came to county and they started selling us morphine? Yeah. I had two of them. You Holy of them. shit. Last time we took Freeman up here, I swore I would never come back up here without some morphine. I what happened? Hey. I turn around and there's like the whole... There's a bear and a cougar and a wolf and there's the whole fucking Noah's Ark. True, I, they came for me next. I managed to kill the two wolves, but the bear and the puma are probably still out there. Oh my god. Is that your horse? Yeah, Onyx. Yeah, okay. He must have heard me crawl, calling for help. Oh, good boy, Onyx. My service issue uh, Mustang. Oh god, what is, what's spooking the horse? Oh, there's a guy on a horse! Bam! Bam! Ah! God! George! I only got one left! George, I don't know if you can take much more morphine. <laughs> Just... Maybe... Ow. Ah! This time... Oh, Jesus. There was a man Let's on a horse. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, I, I think maybe we go back, back I down the mountain. Leave. We tell the rest of the department. Yeah. I before I get out of here. by a bear again. Yeah, you're in no shape to be riding the horse. Jump on the back of mine. Wait. Oh, no. Where's Justin? Where'd you leave him? I don't remember. 
Oh no. Then we, we we took him up by that cliff. I need to go back and get justice. Oh, is that your horse? That's my horse. Okay. I'll go look for I'll go look for justice. Oh, you want to come with me? You come with me and then call your horse over once we find him. All right. Oh my god! Oh, just. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tell where you left your dog? I don't know, but we were about here. We were like, I'll go left, you go right. And then, did you drop it's just? Ju here it is. Oh, justice. I'm so sorry. And I found there's hey, proof boy. over here, as well as the photo. Can't pick it up. More evidence, Angel. More evidence. Putting that on. Angel, there's another bear over there. Wait, where? Across the river. Okay, let's get out of Ma here. Yeah, let's get I think maybe down. we've bitten off all we can chew for now. Go fast. Go as fast as we can. Okay, Onyx, keep up with Angel, okay, boy? Bold by animals. Ah! Bah, Lucky he had the morning. <laughs> Are you still back there, George? Yeah! All right, let's... It's a bumpy ride! Make sure to eat something. That morphine can really mess with you. Okay. Oh, it's a hunter! Right side! Let's go ask him some questions. Had a partner. Hello. Hey there. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. That's not Patty. Oh no. You, are you Patty? Swampy. No, sir. What's your name? Swampy. Swampy. My name's George Hughes. This is Lance Angel. Have you seen a? Have you seen a, a man in like a a, a a blonde beard and a funny hat running around with a torch? Um, I seen him earlier. There were there were just someone up at the, the skinning uh, merchant up north. I didn't catch a glimpse of them. They were hunting out behind it. But uh, if you head up that way, maybe you can catch up. To oh, we found him. We just. Up. We just want to make sure, see if he'd spoken to you or, or attacked you or something. No, no, he was up in the mountains. I, I tried to say uh, hello because I'd never seen anyone like that with a lantern just running around the snow. Uh, and he just ran away up into the hill. Okay. You saw him too. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, up that way that I'm facing now. Quite some ways on the side of the mountain. Uh, well, it must have been an hour and a half ago now. Hour and a half. Yeah, sure. Someone on the hill right over there. Where? It looks like his handcuff. George, get your horse. Uh, oh, Swampy, it's no. great to meet you. Stay safe, Stay safe Swampy! Yeah. Side. 
Other side, Anjo, other side. Where? Over here. Stop. Oh, what? what, what? He was right here. It's just stop in the middle of nowhere. It's the third time I've seen a pair of tracks to stop. Either he's really good at jumping or walking backwards real fast. Something else is happening around here. Where the hell? It's back over that way. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Hey. Oh, my God. Oh, we got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Gotta get justice back to the. That's right. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He's. Oh, got him! I got him! It's another hat! Oh! Holy shit. It's another hat! What the hell was that? Goddamn litter! Litter in the mountains! People paying tricks on us? Oh my god, I almost look like him. I don't know if that, I like this. Yeah, that's it. Keep that on. Okay. Wait. Oh, no! Oh, no! Stop! Oh no, is that? Please don't do that, Swamby. No! No! Stop it! Ah! Where'd he go? Stop! Stop right there! Stop it! No, give me a hat. Playing ring, ring around the rosy around a rock. We gotta, okay. Let's get out of here. We gotta get that hat. The photo. And most importantly, justice to a vet. Justice to a vet. Who's on my morphine up? All right, let's get out of here. He's playing games with his son of a bitch. I gotta tell you, they don't pay so well up here in the snow, so... Uh, do you know if they sell morphine anymore? I couldn't tell you. I don't even know what to do anymore. My footprints are stopping in the middle of nowhere. Fire. Horses. I was just starting to feel normal again, and now I gotta deal with this shit again we're gonna get it All right, we're gonna cross here it's fine we got it we gotta find smiley joe show him that hat oh, oh god oh, it's as smooth across as i show thought it was about to be show him the hat show him the photo oh oh no oh we made it we made it these poor horses is Joseph okay? Joseph seems to be okay. He's licked my hand a few times. How to make the route unpredictable. <laughs> George, I just don't know what to make of it. Is there... Are there priests? Have you ever met a priest? I met a priest or two in my time. Maybe we need a priest. I, all I know is there was no trouble until even Patty met that man. That man told him about this Mavis Chambers story. And then I started telling Patty about the beans. Until the day I started talking about beans again, this place was as normal as can be. Oh no. I told him the story. I said, it's fascinating. Oh, God, oh! no. Justice. Oh, no. 
What, Justice? Oh, Justice, where'd you go? Oh, no. <laughs> No, not on the rock, Justice. That's not the time. Come on, Chopper. Yeah, so I was up here. It's just so quiet and peaceful for weeks. Weeks turns into months, turns into... I feel like years. I... Well, it feels like a while I was out on the water and that, but I don't, I don't think it's been a year. And, you know, Patty, nice man. We drank whiskey together. You come meet me to drink coffee. He was just nice. He was just happy to have company up here. Someone who wasn't drifting so fast as the rest of the hunters. And he tells me one story, and I say, well, I'm, I'm about to tell you the story of the mountain man. A story I don't always tell people. I told him the whole thing, and I explained that. The fact that there's a son of... A general store owner is scared for his life and trying to hide out up here in the snow. You know, it kind of ties in, almost feels like it, is, it could be believable. What the hell have you stumbled us into now? Yeah, the next day, every single person out of the camp. The entire place completely cleared out. Over the last week and a half, those fixtures and wood ornaments and whatnot. And, Hearing about how the department had already come across three people who looked like the mountain man. Tonight, having visions, or I don't even know what to call what's happening. Well, I was even seeing what looked like that out in Guam. So we get a priest up here. You're thinking a priest might be able to help? Well, what else can we do? He, he's darting around. We can't keep up with him when we do catch him. He just... He just... This beer's in the, like, smoke. Not trying to grab smoke. Are you a religious man, George? I, I don't know if I've ever asked that. Not, not really, but I don't know what else to do about that. We, we hung him and we electrocuted him and we, sh we, we blew him to pieces and I threw him down the glacier. Now, multiple people have seen him around. And, and that, like, well, how else can you explain it? Now, there was a man who came from, where was he from? Was he from New Orleans? You ever meet that, uh, no. Can't remember what his name was. His friends with Sinner, the photographer. He, uh. Um, can't remember. He practiced hoodoo, he said. Hoodoo? He said it was, uh, a lot of people think voodoo is the bad one. Uh, Hoodoo is the good one. Right. He said that with Hoodoo, it's all about uh, spirits with unfinished business and all manner of stuff. If we can find ourselves a priest or Hoodoo man or... I don't know. I mean, the department, I've never had to deal with something like this. Nope. I think, I, I, unless someone's got an explanation, I don't know what else to do. I'm wearing a hat right now, right? This is his yeah. hat. Yeah, you're wearing a different hat. You're wearing you're wearing a hat we found on the mountain. We gotta remember to put oop, we're gonna go down here. We need to, if, to if Smiley's around, you need we need him to see it with his own two eyes. Alright, so we where does Smiley the Smiley usually spend his time these days? He just sort of shows up. Wait, no. He has a special place. It's near Valentine. Smiley's <laughs> special place? That's Tell right. The if, we, if we go to Valentine, I can take you to a special place. Right. Yeah, the, the Pinkerton's still... If we get a Pinkerton to tell me about what kind of bullet hit... Did you see him even hold a gun? The whole time? I don't recall a gun. There's a chance that, that you know, what was his name? Swampy? Yeah. Maybe Swampy might have taken shots at Justice. Look, it's not the first time a hunter shot at Justice. Well, look, uh, Justice does look a lot like a wolf from far away. I know, so it's... The fact that Justice just showed up in that house, and he might have lived there. I thought he was dead at first, but it's true, he actually could have lived there. Maybe, but then we did hear a lot of... <laughs> this is what I'm saying. All the insanity started after that night. I was trying to figure out what could have triggered it. Now I heard about that name, Mavis Chambers. I 
took a trip to Tumbleweed. Sure as day. You look at that the the board of the name. We general store owned by the Chambers family. I asked everyone in Tumbleweed. They said the poor family were all killed right after they sold the general store. Was there any other leads in Tumbleweed? It's snowing out here. What what's going on? I think, I think we brought the weather with us, huh, Joe? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what did you yeah. say? I just see that mountain. Top, up yeah, top there. Mountain. Up top. Yeah. So let's check the department. Somewhere. There might be someone there. Okay, what's on top of that mountain? The special place. Right. Oh, is that the place that we went that one time? I think so. Remember back when we had to go on the incognito? We went up in the mountain range and then came down, ran down to the bank. Yeah, just... yeah, yeah. That rings a bell. That's a good place. Um, I might bring bring justice to the vet. Okay. Poor justice. Meet you over. I'll meet you over at the sheriff's uh, department. All right. Okay. Let's just act normal. Yeah. Yeah. I'll meet you over there. Is that you, Lou? Howdy, sir. Uh, George. How are you, mate? Ah, uh, been Hello. better. Well, we have. To, you and I. I sent you a telegram. You and I need to have a chat. Oh no! What's happened now? Um. Is, is that this, is this is that Mr. Angel? Hughes? I've heard about Lou. Uh, yeah, yeah Angel's this... coming. All right. So, Mr. Hughes, this is uh, Bill Burns. This is the younger brother or half brother of the late Clive Freeman. Oh, how do you do? Uh, good to see you, sir. Um, I've been better. Me, yeah. Oh, Howdy, good. mate. Ha Lou. Just before we get to Woodman, let me introduce you to someone. Oh my god, oh, yeah, who? This is, this is uh, Bill Burns. He's the younger half brother of uh, the late Clive Freeman. Mr. Freeman's brother. Yep, so he's a senior deputy with us for the meantime. Uh, he may be uh, bumped up to corporal. He's been transferred from another county. Oh, look at the cute little dog. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is justice. I'm so, so sorry to hear about your brother. Uh, it's, these things happen, Mr. Iron Jaw. You know, they, they can't be helped, you know. By the way, Iron Jaw, you remember your old horse, Justice? Yes. Uh, well, after a little medical episode, Justice is actually doing quite healthy. My God, that's amazing! You know, you got justice the horse, justice the dog, and then yep. and still got justice. I've got ju I've got hammer the horse, hammer the uh, dog, and hammer the wagon. My horse is the mare. Oh, jeez, the damn mare! That horse this... kicks me a goddamn yep. gin. Woodman, I'm gonna shoot it. Yeah, do you remember him? Ah, hey, Mr. Hughes, there you go. Have you met the mare? What is going on with Woodman? The mare. This Hello. woman. The mayor, the horse. The horse is the mayor of Valentine now. Oh, Just, oh get, get the out hell here. out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he got voted in unopposed, one vote to, to, to nil. So, oh, get the hell out if of here. If it kicks, you shoot it. Uh, hey, right. you can't shoot a government. Yeah, it's only mayor by its nature. That's all it's mayor by, mate. I can't. No, no, it's definitely the, the mayor of Valentine. That's, all right, Mr. that's Mr. Ridiculous. Hughes. And Mr. Iron Jaw, get dressed in something comfortable. I need to borrow you guys. Uh, right. What about this hat? You need to put this hat somewhere special. Yeah. Can I have the Both hat? you two need you to spot. That. Hang on. Take a good Is look that... at that hat. You see this hat? I do know that, so that, hat. that hat. Where did you get that from? We just got this from. What? I mean, the fact that you can see it 
Just got this from a man in the in the mountains. Yeah, take a good look at it. I'm gonna go That's get nice changed. Hat. Where did you get that from? Welcome back. Thank you, Woodman. Woodman. <laughs> hey, Ash. Woodman. In Woodman. Quick to the magical book. Fucking Woodman. I swear to God. Can I change my outfit? Did, did uh, you, go you, have, you have to do it at a clothing store now, I believe. Oh, you. Angel. Also, look what we found. I found the, uh, I was cleaning up the place. I found the younger photo of you, mate. Look at that. Oh my God. You and Smiley. Well, he was a strapping young boy. That's, feels like a hundred years ago. Yeah. I All right. The day they took that photo. Once you get changed, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll give you back this, this one, hat. Alright, All right, Mr. Hughes. Change real quick. Who's that one at the back there, Mr. Lou? Who's on the this? horse? Oh, that's Mr. Hughes. Oh. Yeah. He was uh, actually falling off the horse there, but they uh, captured it at the right time. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Hughes, um, you and I are going to have to have a big talk. Right. I'm also going to bring Mr. Loris with us. I just want to... Just, uh, the marshal has said, uh, for me to give you a quick check over. Okay. Make sure you're doing all right. Right. Uh, a few things have come to my attention and I don't want to talk about them in Valentine. Fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, if Mr. Lawrence gives you the all clear, we'll have a little chat. Um, like I said, I'm going to, I'm bringing you in on this investigation as well as Mr. Burns here. So I want you to get acquainted with him. Right. Um, it does have to do with Guama. I'm just letting you know. Oh, God. I know. Right. I'm sorry. But I'm bringing you in on this because I feel like you need some closure. And I feel like Mr. Burns needs some closure. Okay. What about Iron Jaws? Is he welcome? Iron Jaws welcome. Yeah, Iron Jaws come with us. So all... Si uh, well, Iron Jaws technically a deputy marshal, so he needs to be uh, informed on this as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're not in trouble, mate. You're not in trouble. But, uh, I just feel like you should be part of this. Okay. All right. Yep. If, if you feel comfortable yeah. with it, Mr. If Hughes. If you feel comfortable. If not, then yeah, I'm, that is fine. I, I'm feeling a lot better. Well, All right. in some Beautiful. senses of the word. Let me send Dolores a telegram. That have had in evidence. Yeah, I will. I don't know what's so special about a damn hat, but... For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. George, you got a visitor. Another one? Right, Mr. Iron George, did you need the hat? Uh, yes. Hello. Oh, oops, sorry there. Hey, what the actual fuck is this? My my George Hughes outfit. You like are, you, are you impersonating a law officer, sir? Hey, I think I got it pretty good. <laughs> what is this? Halloween? <laughs> Oh my gosh, get Lou out here, show him too. I feel like I'm looking in one of those fucked up mirrors at a carnival. <laughs> I don't like oh this. Oh my god, it's amazing. I got it all spot on, I reckon. I do not like this at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might go get changed before I get arrested. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay. All right. I'll go, I'll go get trade. I'm sorry. <laughs> Howdy. Hello. Um, are you law? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're right. Help you, sir. All right, let's go, gentlemen. All right, let's go. Let's go off duty and uh, <laughs> hey, Tom, Lee. let's let's have a chat. It's like a hell of a good idea. All right, gentlemen, let's mount up. Yeah, mate. Uh, Mr. Andrew, I wrote to you. A little bit. All right. you, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Find some time, brother. Uh, come, come back in maybe about 20 minutes. It's good to see you, though, Wood. Who's that? Who the fuck is that? Serve us well, gentlemen. Try our best. Thank you. This hat gives me the creeps, George. Yeah. I don't like it, but we need all the witnesses we can. Oh, I'm just happy me other people can see this hat. If photos are one thing, but that's right. I I know what's so special about the hat. Well your brother may or may not have been pulled into something really big in the time when he was first brought in as a recruit. What's that? I just, don't, I just don't understand oh, the Freeman. significance of this hat. Well, Freeman helped, um, a lot of the department helped to bring it down a, a man who was known as the Mountain Man. It was Lester a cannibal. Lester Flat. Zero killer? Possible uh, cannibal? He... Look, we justice was served and he was put in the ground. The fact that today we saw a man who came to us and looked like him, sounded like him, and managed to get a drop on him long enough to get this hat means that either we got a, a copycat or, I mean, I don't know. We don't deal much in the occult, ghosts, any of that stuff. Has anyone here seen anything like that? I haven't seen a witch in Valentine for a long time. No, but uh, I'm sure Smiley. Oh, sorry, my eyes are a bit stuttery there. Your eyes started here. Um, I'm sure Smiley would like to see that hat. It took a lot of convincing to get him to realize that uh, sights of Lester are still, still around. You were saying you saw three men, three I of saw those men. Three of them. Myself, Harkness, Yuri Petrov, and uh, Clive Freeman. I hope, I hope your brother's resting well. Yep, he is. Let's make sure. So, yeah, your brother was one of the men who helped bring this man down. Interesting. Very interesting. How long have you been on the job for? Is this your first day? Uh, I've been, I was a, I worked as a sheriff and prosecutor back home, so I've just put in transfer papers, uh, for the frontier. Nice. So, uh, I've been working as a law, law enforcement officer for quite some time. That's good to hear. I feel that uh, between a lot of the department can come and go, different things pop up from time to time, you need leave and everything, so someone else putting on the badge is always good. And I'm gonna just look at you and think of Freeman, though. I've made the mistake of calling Freeman a couple of times. I mean, we do look pretty similar. Yeah, you do. What's your last name? What was your name again? Burn. Bill Burns. Bill Burns. Alright, gentlemen, Burns. ride fast on the tracks. Watch out and do not fall. Let's go ahead, Bill, and I'll follow. I hope this bridge is more secure than that Baltimore bridge. Cinematic camera's getting dangerous. Blue. Oh, 
I couldn't believe the footage, Ash. Unbelievable. My eyes are pretty bad today. Let's go this way. Unbelievable. I saw it like when I was like first woke up this morning on my Yo, phone dude, on Twitter and I'm like Justice what? is still riding. Because um I'm riding Chopper. Yeah. It was my first Mustang issued to me and yeah. I kind of it, I thought he was a death's door, so I didn't have the heart to bring him out of the stables and suddenly he's just good as new. Well that's what happened with uh well I gave Burns my horse, my first horse. Uh, so Justice was actually very sick. And uh, he was on the brink of death, but uh, he's back up. He's actually probably one of the faster Kentucky saddlers in the county at the moment. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yep. I can go show him, you, uh, show him to you later. Yeah, that's amazing. I hope my old horse George is still safe with old Tommy Tim Tam, wherever he may be. What is wrong with my eyes? Wow. Getting something around here. Ah, it's getting real interesting yeah. around here. Well, we're not going into Blackwater. We're not going to be doing too much. Maybe it's just all the snow and the change in temperature. So you changing, you transferring into this area? It's crazy, like, you just watch the bridge and it just, like, drops. Missy, um, Missy died, but with how the, um, the stables went, she might be back, but I don't know how to play that in, like, RP-wise. So I'm using Onyx. Because he was gifted by Levi Sykes. I miss Missy, but just this, this horse has a bit more sentimental value to it. He was gifted by a old lawman before he went. And I think he's now, like... A sheriff or something of another server, I think. Last I heard. Howdy, Marshal. There he is. Um, have a look at what Mr. Angel has on his head. Look at this, Smiley. Mr. I oh, Mr. Angel. Uh, when, when did you get that hat? George and I just took it off an individual in the Snowy Mountain area. Yep. My district. Don't, look at it. Don't you mm -hmm. say it. Don't you say another word to me about what I think you're about to say. I'm going just on. Smiley. Mr. Goodman, we this we just saw a man. I mean, I was trying to tell George. I thought I was going crazy. No, we had I him. Realize we had yeah. him, and then every goddamn animal on the mountain nearly ripped me apart. Who'd you have? I, I don't even want to say it. I don't. I can't believe it. It can't be him. It's someone. It's I'm George. Take that stupid hat off. I need to see your face. Well, th that's the point. Th this hat is the proof. They've wow. seen it. They've seen it. That you can hat. see this, right? Uh, yes, I see it. Look, anyone could be wearing that hat. Exactly. They made thousands of them, probably. That's true, but we saw a man with a beard and a hat. Man whose footprints seem to start and stop all over the snow. Yep. But look at me. Look at me, right? You looking at me? Mm hmm. You see my face? Yes. What's on my face? I mean, that. That's oh, that, that, that looks like a man with a beard and a hat. Angel. Exactly. It's a, it's a beard. beard and a hat. See, after anyone can have a beard and a hat. Took, after the fall, you just took Deputy Marshal. Dirt is on your face. There is That's... also dirt on my face, yeah. Dismount. When bareback, not my specialty. George, I don't know what to say. because That's whole, fine. Whole, I'm, getting that you, you know? I'm getting that photo developed. I'm getting it developed. Right. We we don't want to waste any more time. But there's just uh, maybe there are some people dressing up as the mountain man up there. Maybe the snow just played tricks on us, made us think that they were, you know, their footprints were stopping and starting. Right. It could have been a real there trick. Is. I'm telling you now, I saw it too. Hawkins saw it. Right. 
y'all, you boys really need to understand how this looks from my position. Now, I remember back in the day when we're all corporals, I could kind of see it from your perspective, right? But in the end of the day, I ha all I get is a report of you boys going up the mountains and y'all losing your minds, saying you're seeing stuff. And apparently, the, the, what, what was it, Mr. Hughes? The, 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 the mountains come alive and all the wildlife have come out purely to attack. I you. was mauled by a wolf and then a bear. Me on me, oh, no. Marshall, I've was only heard stories. Sir. Was there like three bears and like 20 wolves? And I turned around and there's a wolf, a cougar, and a bear running at me. Yeah. And then I nearly get on. eaten. Hold on. In the mountains. Hold on. A cougar in the mountains. Yes. Happened to me. Boys, you really have to see this from my perspective. How am I meant no. to do anything Until with this information? Until I see the mountain man, I don't believe it. I don't All know right. what to tell you, Smiley. I, I, I thought I was Cray George. I think I'm crazy. No, what, what you, no! What you can actually do, what you can actually do, Mr. Iron George, you can explain to me exactly what you've been doing for the last goddamn three months up in, uh, up in that area. Well, it because all was. It, you haven't all sent right. me a single telegram. You haven't sent me a single uh, sign that you're alive. And all of a sudden, you come out of the fucking blue. It and does. You, you're now sent off, you know, Mr. Hughes off into the mountains to what? Essentially die because apparently all my deputies go out there to die. I mean, in hindsight, when you put it like that, it does sound rather foolish. We're doing our job. You were doing your job. And what was that exactly? And the, the whole town up there in Amberino, when I was put up there, there was... I would just take care of all the crime that would happen there. Just small things. Hunters arguing with each other. People fighting over if meat was fresh or not. All and right, then, where's uh, those reports then? Oh, it was always <laughs> this mountain law. Different law system up there. Mountain law. Oh, yeah, that is I, true. Yeah, no. Mount, it's true. There is mountain law. law. Hey, yeah, fans. Everything was said by mountain law. Uh, first, I was a bit confused I think myself. I need to start a rotation up in the mountains. Hey, Absolutely. You're saying not. I didn't do a good job up there? No, I'm saying you did a fantastic job. But I'm just saying these boys down here are a bunch of pussies. They should learn mountain law. Mountain law is a, if someone scares you, you have the right to shoot them. That's why okay, no one that, scares anyone that, up there. That is that's, absolutely that's, not uh, the law. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. That's no one scares law. anyone else. Mountain mountain read up on it. Deputy Marshal, there is law. no law for that. Can I see Have you the been legislation in the mountain on mountain law, please? I've got a book up there. Oh, I think. Oh. Is, is this what it's you've been hard. doing this whole time, Arjo? Yeah. You've been up there enforcing these random Thank laws you. called Just mountain uh, laws? I mean, well, I mean, you know, they're, they're very close yeah. to our laws. I mean, if, if you know, if someone uh, enters your house and you don't give them permission, you can shoot them. That yeah, kind that's of, a you know. Law. That's, that's a normal, normal law. right? That's called then, trespassing. Yeah, see, now if someone scares someone, then that person has the right to shoot them, but it means that no one scares anybody, so no, never no, even that's actually not seen how anyone. That work. <sighs> hey, Smiley, would you? The amount of spooking I've seen up there by people, you know, Whoa. creeping up on people, I don't blame them. I you respect the mountain take law. Take a couple steps back there, sir. Well, you're not in the mountains anymore. Y yeah, you can't be doing that. You ain't I in the mountains. I didn't, I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot. That's the thing. You don't shoot. Yeah. yeah. No one scares nobody. Not in the mountains anymore, Toto. Well, Angel, that ain't a law, and you can't be enforcing that law. See, I don't enforce that law. I just enforce, you know, the normal law. But, uh, but then the mountain law just seems to be very close to the normal law. If you take something that wasn't yours... Other person comes along to me, tells me, and then they want to shoot them. I say, don't shoot them. Mm -hmm. Gonna see if we can get mm -hmm. this thing back and talk it out. And thankfully, everyone up there, some of the kindest people you ever met. Oh my God, so you are Except actually for this mountain man person, you think. Mr. Hughes, I'm gonna need you, mate. All right. Deputy Martin, don't. Uh, if don't you gentlemen would like to come with me. If you gentlemen would like to come with me. Sorry. It's just mountain, though. Hey, Dill. All right, Mr. Hughes, I believe you know Mr. Lloyd. Howdy, ma'am. You're looking very good, Mr. Hughes. I'm feeling a lot better. That's fantastic to hear. All right, come with me. Your place, Mr. Lou? Yeah, mate. Uh, very nice. Just, just waiting for the keys, mate. Very so, spacious. So this place is going to be a uh, 
an area for, I mean, it's going to be my house but also a place for the department to come hang out there's going to I'm going to make into a little training area do you do you own the actual land or you just don't have keys for the property I don't have yet? the keys just yet I've bought it but, but you have but you have yeah, yeah. Uh, land because I could set up some training here you know that's what we're gonna that's what I'm organizing yeah, nice. Right. I'm sorry, go ahead, nice. Mr. Loris. Yeah. Right. No, good. No, Actually, yeah, I can see you. We're gonna sit by the fire, but let's sit over here. Be careful now, we don't That's want poisoning. Snake, Mr. Loot. Yeah, I know, bit my boot. After you, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you. Alright, Mr. Loris, um I just wanted to do a uh, quick evaluation on Mr. Hughes. That's oh, okay. Like, uh... You try and sit. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, you have to sorry. get nice and close. Oh, it's just not going to happen. I right, stand. Come, come, come. So stand on top of this one and sit on it. Yeah, this one doesn't work. That's fine. I'll stand. Oh, that's better. <sighs> How's it been getting back onto the job, George? Oh, it's been fine. Yeah? How's the, uh... How's the memories coming along? Uh, quite vividly. All right. So you're getting a flood of memories all at once, or is it still staggered and at different times it's coming on? Well, there's still, you know, a few more, you know, rolling in, but majority of them came in at the funeral. Ah, uh, I could understand that, yeah. Yeah. And it would be a big trigger point. Um, how's that, uh, how's your frustrations levels dealing with that? Go on the funeral. Uh, yeah, and the, the flood of memories coming back to you and then, then not getting any memories and just the staggered nature of the memories coming back. Well, I guess it's a big uh big relief to be honest i i just feel mm. more in touch with myself again no longer really doubting this or that um yeah nothing frustrated it, about the past memories okay and if you fit it back into your role as a as a lawman again oh, i wouldn't say i've done enough to say that but you know early days yeah, but it's all coming naturally to you again in terms of what you're, what's expected of you, what you need to do as part of the role. I think so. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Well, you're looking good. What about you sleeping? You're, you're sleeping okay? Not being kept up awake at night? Oh, uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but it, it, it's an improvement. Hmm, that's good. Well, you seem to be well, and, and you're eating well, you're eating regularly. You haven't picked up any bad habits? Uh, no, everybody's been giving me... You know, donuts and bits of cake and <laughs> this and that. <laughs> Looking after you. All right, that's good. All right, as long as you keep up your exercise as well. Hey, here. Yeah. Hello? That? You got that, uh, that film on you? Sorry? Uh, yes. From your camera? Yep. Pan it over, son. Oh, okay. I'm going to get it developed. I want to see this from my own eyes. All right, here you go. Thank you. Go get this developed. We'll find out. Okay. And this mountain man in this photo of yours, he keeps saying, we'll send up the whole force, everything we got. We'll kill that son of a bitch. Well, that's Sorry to interrupt the conversation here. Uh, hey, ma'am. What's your name? Howdy. No, I'm Dolores, Dr. Dolores. Uh, Dr. Dolores, nice to meet you. Heard many good things. Thank we need you. to have a chat at some point. Oh, okay then. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, me, I'm always available. me, you, and Smiley. Okay, sounds good. Okay, yeah, we'll organize that. Who's that? Yep, I'm, yeah. I'm always around. Beautiful. Love your work, uh, keep it up, and uh, don't do drugs. Get wet in trains. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's that's good. Well, you, you look fine to me, George. Yeah, hurry up. It's uh, nice to see you uh, fitting in quite nicely. I, um... I have been doing some uh, thinking about uh, what else we could do to gently uh, bring your memories back, especially uh, how you got to Guama and, and all those that uh, whole scenario. Um, if you're down or if you're uh, interested in it, there is a type of hypnotherapy uh, that can be used to slowly trigger uh, memories back. Uh, 
So uh, oh, yeah, at some point, harmless. if you would like to give that a go, yeah, it is harmless. I mean, it's just a matter of naturally putting you in a hypnotic state and trying to trigger your subconscious into uh, bringing back uh, some of your memories. Um, we'll do it in a staggered approach, and I promise you it's not uh, not something that would uh, put a lot of strain on you. It's quite common to use hypnotherapy. Um, if we aren't able to get you naturally into that stage, we can also use um, uh, some milder drugs as well to put you in a hypnotic state, um, probably similar to the things that the Indians use, uh, the natives, I should say, use uh, yeah. to get into yeah. a heightened state. Sure. So, um, yeah. 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 Yeah, so there's some of the things that we can think about doing to, to bring your memories back. I'm feeling pretty good, but uh, you never know. Might have missed something, so whatever mm. helps. Oh, it's entirely up to you. Um, entirely up to you. If you think your memories are coming back is, is sufficient enough for you and you're not getting frustrated by the lack of memories, then, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. It's your decision. Oh, I'll, I'll think about it. All right. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you uh, doing really well. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mrs. Dolores, do you think Mr. Hughes is suitable for uh, a bit of questioning at the moment? Ah, I think you, you look fine, as long as the questioning isn't uh, isn't uh, too harsh. Um, yep. I'd still avoid anything to do with water at this stage. I think, uh, Mr. It's Hughes, more... you're still not comfortable with the whole water thing, aren't you? Rivers are fine, but the open bodies of water, not so much. Hmm, okay. okay. I think you'd be fine. Good. And yeah, I, I also I um I, I did put two shots of morphine into him up into in the mountains. I had these two old syringes. Oh, um, so, um, okay. um oh. Oh. Hi, Joel. Again, we're gonna have a word later. Oh, what I was gonna ask is, do you still sell morphine? Is that... uh, no, we we don't sell it. It's uh, only administered by the doctors. God, oh, okay. Okay. Now, they were really old, really old syringes I bought from a doctor like... along. Like long time ago. I, I hope you, you haven't given him an infection by sticking a rusty needle into him. I feel great. Oh, you you feel yeah. great now. That's um, true. They they were very old. I had them in my. I looked after them for a long time. It's because we. It's more than having the doctor. Uh, yeah, we generally don't try to use uh, medication that's you know two years old or or one year old or two years old. So hopefully it wasn't too old. Um, generally, I don't like sticking things into people's arms that. Uh, could have uh, corroded uh, metal in that isn't kept in uh, good conditions it tends to uh, corrode. So uh, we might have to keep an eye on your uh, your arm. I take it as your arm that you put it in. <laughs> uh, well, I went for his arm, but um, I kind of got him in the thigh one time. Okay, uh, all right. Another time near his neck, but uh, he seemed fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, just monitor those entry points of the needle, George, and just if you get any, uh, if it starts to get really red and you get really itchy, um, I really suggest coming in and uh, having a, one of the doctors have a good look at it and maybe give it a good clean out. I'd hate for you to get some some form of infection. Uh, at this rate, let, Iron Jaw, I'm going to need you to get a head check out from. Let me let me guess, Iron Jaw. It was because of mountain law. Actually, should we uh, do a quick? Uh... Let's strike a vow on uh, Mr. Angel while we're here. No, let's do it a bit later. Let's let's yeah. get let's right. get George out of the way. Yeah, I don't right. I don't talk to doctors. It's fine. <laughs> you really should. They only tell me negative things. I I stick to you. Know, I live a positive life. Uh, Eat less of this and go crazy. All this such anyway. Well, all right. Positivity is a good start. Uh, do you need me anymore, gentlemen? No. Thank you, Dolores. I appreciate it. I just wanted to get an all clear before I start questioning Mr. Hughes. All right, no problem. All right. So why I brought Mr. Hughes and so Iron Jaw here is uh, I'll be running through the notepad with you in a little bit, just okay. to make sure you guys are on on uh, kept up to date. Now, Mr. Hughes, um, I've been talking to the news reporter. Right. Now. He's been received, he's been talking. Apparently, the uh, commander's been reaching out to him. What? Yeah. Now the commander has sent Mr. Patch a few photos, which I want you to have a look at. All right. Now I've showed the marshal, and uh, we just want to have a few words. In I understand you're not in trouble. <laughs> we just need to uh, show you these, and uh, I need to get your out input on these. Okay. So if you give me a second, I'll slip them into your pocket. 
All right. So I'm so stressed. The cigarettes don't hit the way they used to hit. Anyone else feel that? Uh, again, I need to be in a saloon. A saloon. My third cigarette, and I'm just on edge. See if I can bring the images on the screen. Can you use this hat? Again. I don't it's, even know the significance oh of the God. hat, but I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think the hat's the stressful thing. Can you take that goddamn hat off as well? I mean, all right, hold on. Let me go. George, did you get a photo of this hat? Uh, maybe looking at the photos I just sent him. All right, okay, <laughs> then I'm going to go and change my hat. Uh, I'll throw this in the bushes somewhere. All right, Mr. Hughes, let me know once you've uh, had a good thorough look at those photos. <laughs> that feels better. Like the stress is just right, lifting just off my shoulders. Give me a minute to peruse them. You're right, mate. Take your time. Did you want to have a look at these photos, Mr. Ein? Um, George, you tell me if I need to look at them. Well, yep. It's up to you if you just wanted to be kept in the loop. I guess while Mr. Uh, Hughes is uh, reviewing those, uh, yep. Mr. Burns. Yes, sir. So you got a bit of legal background, do you? A uh, little bit, yeah. Well, just so happens that I'm looking for a uh, prosecutor. Oh. To represent the law department. Uh, wouldn't he happen to... Uh, be interested in that role? I'm um, always open to law work, sir. Well, you might just have some business with us, so I'll get I'll keep I'll keep you in touch with uh, with what's required and <laughs> the expectations and all that good things that you know. I guess a normal person would hire someone for as a prosecutor would be. It's a new thing for the department, so ah, perfect. No, that sounds that sounds perfect to me, sir. Wait, where did he uh, get a cigar from? You let me know what I need to do, and uh, then we'll get it done. Yeah, they look like standard days in Guam to me. All right. Where now, cigars are from? I can, Guam. I've, got, I've got some cigars if you need. Are cigars better than cigarettes? I've never been sure. Uh, they definitely you are. Just... Can All I right. have one, Lou? Yeah, yeah. What's your pocket number, mate? And ninety-seven. Well, thank you. That's right, a that's in. a Blackwater cigar. That's not a Guaman cigar. The Ooh. Blackwater ones don't exist anymore. The Is that from the the Russians? Yeah, when they were around town, I still have a, I still have like seven more. All right. Now, Mr. Hughes. Now, I just want you to I just want you to know, you're not in trouble for those photos. Okay? Right. Oh, there are people here. Just be careful. Now, you're not in trouble with those photos. Um, you know, whatever happens on Guama, happens on Guama, and it's out of our jurisdiction. It's like mountain, though. Yeah, something similar to that. Yeah, different jurisdiction. No. Yeah. The mountains are very much a part of our country. Yeah, it's like, you know, the, the native camp, they, the Native Americans, they've got their own law, and mountain law is the mountains. Yeah. Now, man, look. Now, Mr. Hughes, those photos. Do you want to tell me what is going on in those photos? Oh, is that? That's Mr. Ames and Harkness. Guama military work. Guama military work. All right. Now, oh, I'll introduce you in a sec. Howdy, Howdy Ames. George. Oh my God. Oh, hang on. I have to see this, Mr. Hughes. Are you? Where the hell have you been? <laughs> don't, this is a Blackwater cigar. Don't make me drop it. And the eight of these left. Where have you been? Look at that beard. You've been Ames, doing nothing if much. If you're going to be tr acting tough, you might as well use your big boy voice. Big I stunned him. Voice. I stunned him. <laughs> so sh Oh, oh, no, I'm a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, boys. It's enough rough right. and tumble. Get in here and shut your mouth. Let Lou do what he needs to do. What right, happened so, to Abe's face? All right, anyway, so, Luke. Mr. Hughes, do you want to explain to me what's going on in these photos? 
Guam and military work. All right. So what type of what type of work was going on? They were uh, they had a uh, they were growing drugs in the fields. Growing drugs in the field. All right. Beautiful. Um, one sec, mate. Now, what are those uh, what are those little white buildings in the uh, in the photographs there, Mister Hughes? Uh, that's where they take the, um, uh, the, the paste or something to process them. What are they processing right. it into, Mr. Hughes? Uh, yeah, I... something to sell here or give to someone or... Yeah, I believe I they, uh, they have cocaine over there because, uh... I've gone with Mr. Dolores to get cocaine paste for the doctors. Um, we came to the conclusion a while ago that if they do have cocaine paste, they will have cocaine. But our concern was if they're bringing cocaine to America in its purest form, then we have an issue. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to let me know about in on the harvesting over there, Mr. Hughes? Any key figures over there? Any, uh, anything of interest? Uh, it was like about once a week, uh, a yeah. lot of people would come around to sort of do it in one big go. Right. Roughly how many people? Oh, you could have anywhere from a handful to, you know, 15. Yep. Okay, are they, uh,. Are those people citizens of Guam or? Ah, uh, they... yes, they had they had all been granted citizenship of Guam. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter for us because it's uh it's out of our jurisdiction again. But uh, I'm gonna keep a lookout on it. Um. All right. Is there anything else, like anything else, at the top of your mind that you can let me know? Just anything else. Well, some of those other photos is when they once. They were sort of in a bit of a dire situation where they were short yep. some people. So they, they, uh, oh, hold on, let me just, oops, sit back down. Um, they, uh, they, uh, forced me onto a boat and, uh, yep. we had to deliver some of the processed goods to a, to a group of men in black out in the desert okay. of America. And then once that was done, we promptly, um, they promptly put me back on the boat and we went back. Okay. So you so you came to America while serving time in Guam? Just the one time, but I was with the commander and a couple like a uh, couple of the other officers. Okay. Um, so the commander's been to America? Yes. Mr. Hughes, by any chance do you know a man by the name of Robert Robinson? That does not ring a bell. Okay. I believe I have, well, I don't have enough evidence, but I do believe I've ran into the commander in St. Denis. Oh. That's how those photos were given to Mr. Ingo Petch for the uh, Valentine's News paper. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah, I'm running a, a thorough investigation on this Mr. Robert Robinson. Um, I need you to be careful just in case he is in America. Oh my God. I want you to keep an eye out for Squiz Taylor. And his wife, Hunter Axel. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. Um, Squiz has made threats to the department, to my life, and... Uh, Is Squiz Taylor still oh, around? Shit. Yep, and yep, I believe sadly. Squiz uh, sent me a confessional that he's the one that killed Clive Freeman. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hold on. No, you're saying Squiz Taylor killed Freeman. I'm saying that Squiz Taylor did kill Clive Freeman. That's the commander of a bitch. Sent, uh, Mr. What are Burns. we doing sitting here right now? Well, that's, this is what you I'm getting to. I'm so mad I can't even put oh. down this goddamn cigar. That's <laughs> right, Mr. Iron Joe, I've got this. So, the commander has sent Mr. Bill Burns over here to my left. A uh... oh, by the way, Mr. Ames, this is Bill Burns. He's the br younger brother of the late Clive Freeman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Wyatt Ames. Now, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. 
about the uh, commander selling me a telegram. Yeah, so he sent him a telegram saying that one of his men called Gonzalez had killed Mr. Freeman and that he had a gift for... Uh, him and Squiz had a gift for Mr. Burns. I told Mr. Burns not to reply to that telegram and if they wanted to send the gift, they can bring it to the Valentine Sheriff's Department. Uh, oh, that's Squiz, great, dude. This is about Squiz. Just... Now, Squiz and I had a bit of a back and forth. He was sending me taunting telegrams about Clive Freeman. And one of the letters said, P.S. Lou, I have a bullet with your name on it. The same one I used for Clive Freeman. Also, say hi to George Hughes. Son of a bitch. Son of a yep. bitch. Well, I know that Mountain Man likes people. We could always give them to the Mountain Man. Oh, well, we've got to find this Mountain Man, but... The, That's true. Uh, yeah, the topic is at hand right now is that I'm looking at getting an arrest warrant for Squiz Taylor. Oh, good. Not a bounty, an arrest warrant. Uh, for now. And, uh... This commander, and I want to look more into this Robert Robertson. So I just wanted to show you these photos, Mr. Hughes, to make sure, uh, you know, they didn't trigger anything too bad, but maybe you could give us, you know, like you gave us some information. Now, Lou, we we have to trade lightly with this, so I just want to make sure, you know, you're, you're not... I understand this has been a stressful time for you. You're angry about Clive and everything, but... We really do need to tread carefully, you know, especially with those photos, for example. Like, I understand. We we are in a very delicate situation, you know. Yep. If uh, the attorney general sees those photos, well, I do anything. Well, that's not so Technical. much about not being able to do anything. It's more about we all gonna be losing our jobs. I know. Yeah. The only people that have those photos are myself <laughs> and Mr. Pet <laughs> and. I have faith that Mr. Petch will not be sharing those photos. That's George um, had amnesia, so... At the end of the day, it is in Guama soil. That's, n that's <laughs> nothing to do with the law department here in America. Nope. <laughs> but, like, I, like you said, I am tr I am going to tread carefully on this. And I'm building up a lot more information before I go in and do anything. I'm not going to go in with just with whatever I have at the moment. I want a good, solid case. Even if we have to take Squiz and the commander to court, I'm willing to do it. Well, with the information you've given me so far, I can try and push that forward to make sure a case is uh, brought forward for it, and we might yep. be able to get that uh, warrant to uh, have access to his uh, telegrams. But in the meantime, I would probably start looking at building a case because, I, you know, with the way things are and just, you know, the way that we have to work around this since there isn't a technically an... an a, a, a direct law that's been, you know, breached, it yep. might become a, a case where we might have to take it with the legal system. With this, uh, forgive me for bringing this up. Uh, I know I could probably get in trouble for this, but could this be a off the record situation? <sighs> Which I am willing to take care of myself if need be. Well,. Funny thing about you saying that, Paul, is when you say, oh, I'll take care of it, it's not your job on the line if, if we're approving it. You, no one here heard, would, have, would have heard anything. No one would have seen anything, and this conversation never happened. Uh, Lou, I just want to well, say... If someone I mean, dies, it's on us. No, now, Lou, I, I'm, I've so never done Mexicans. anything off the record. But if I were to, I would <laughs> never tell Smiley. So, I think what Lou's trying to say <laughs> is that we're going to do it all above board, and if anything happens, someone might have an accident. So, I, you know, who, who's to say? I, I think you're right. I think you're right, Iron Joel. I didn't hear anything. And whatever this, this, this operation is, is all fabricated and doesn't make sense. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. It's a hypothetical. Sounds like man, man. Oh, God, don't you stop, Deputy Marshal. Same. He's not wrong. Oh shit. I no, got that uh, photo developed. Did you get it developed? Look, I did. What I think hey, is. You got the uh, photo? Right, yeah, Lou, keep going. Oh, oh well, let me have a look. What I think that Here needs to happen is George needs com uh, closure from this commander. Wait, what? No! He was there! Why isn't he what in I this think... photo? I don't know. Photo of a man. 
He was there. He was on top of that. Oh, don't make George any more stressed. I'm so stressed right now. I have three cigarettes, cigar. Oh, my brain feels like it's going to fall apart. Hold, hold on. We'll, we'll get back. To, we'll get back to this mountain man business. In the meantime, Lo, as I said, I didn't hear this. This conversation never happened. Yep. Beautiful. If this, but let me warn you: if this does come back. I take I'll take full responsibility. Well, at, at, at this point, it's no longer going to be that. It'll be both of us. No, you had nothing to do with it. I went against the order. Thanks for I the resub, Dongyi. Yeah, yeah and you, it, it's thanks more for the resub, Mrs. Phenomenal. Through the pieces, right? The, they 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 find out what they go start doing the investigation and why you know you've gone about this. They find out about Guama and who was the one who made the Guama call. Yeah. So yeah, again. This conversation never happened. We didn't discuss any of this. And I think you all uh, probably should start maybe looking at that alert we just got. I can't see him off duty. I'm all off right. duty, duty as well. As well. Yeah, uh, God gonna, damn it. Well, I was also going to make sure that Ames, Hughes, and Iron Jaw uh, figured out the uh, notepad system. Oh, we don't use notepads up in the mountains. Okay. So man law again. Yes, man law. It's all verbal. Uh, We're going to be oh. having a little chat on George about your employment. <laughs> Can I shoot that him? Up. I haven't killed someone for a few days now. Right. I'm not killing. Look, I, mean, I, I still need to have a talk with you too about your uh, recent dealings. Yeah, but it's, it's only Mexicans. Uh, also, Ames, be careful with your uh, cocaine on your back. All right. Very, very expensive. Very expensive gun at the moment, and uh, people are looking to rob sheriffs for him. That's why I'm the car the carbine on my back. Oh, for crying out loud. What is bad as Springfield? Is Springfield expensive? Uh they're right. Well alright okay. boys, since since we had nothing to discuss here and nothing happened, I'm gonna head up and make sure that uh there's uh people addressing that bank robbery that's happened right now. So Oh shit. Y'all have shit. to excuse right, me. Who? And, and we'll uh, go with him. I guess you'll yeah. enjoy that uh enjoy that mountain man Dang. discussion I'm sure you're gonna have. Yeah. I'm gonna do something right, with that boy. Or... Uh, maybe Ames so and that. Smiley and Goodman go, and uh, the also, rest of us can uh, talk about this. If you guys need a safe place, you're more than welcome to stay here. What is this place? <clears throat> I'm Joe Hughes. If you ever need a same place, uh, safe place as well. Yeah, this is a nice Lance, place. You're more than welcome to come here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. She got the keys. Question yep. for you. While I'm here, where's yep. your shitter? Uh, <laughs> it's right there. Thanks. Oh, um, Harkness. Yes. Harkness and Burns. Now, it's, it is so good to see, just standing here when we're talking, seeing George, Ames, like seeing everyone here, right, thinking back on those, you know, you were the first ever recruit that the department had here. You remember that? When they God set up, the, open the doors? I mean, we were recruits, and then you were the first recruit right out behind the first wave of us coming into the department. It's so nice Come to on, see you, cool boy. Drug you playing, boy. Oh, my point is, George, what happened to that photo? It's There's no man in it. All right, fuck it. You mean there's no man? Hold on, here, I'll, I'll hand it to you. Okay. Harkness, I've been up in those mountains for months. Nothing unusual happened ever. Then I have one conversation, and everything falls apart. Yeah, it's good to see you back, though. What's up? That's good to see your eye draws back. There's no yeah. one in this photo. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, we no we saw on? him. Let me tell you, boys. You know uh, how crazy you two sound, right? Listen, Did Bill. I say? Trust me on this. Let me have a look. I, I was watching it's George like taking the photo. Huh. Sure, I messed with him. I said, I can't see anyone. And I had a little chuckle because he was there playing his day, but I saw it. Yeah, that reminds me of George Lou. What's that? That uh, Lord Valdemar guy. You can't take his photo. Yeah, there's a man in county called uh, Lord Valdemar. Valdemar, um, that's right. We've tried taking photos of him, and we just Nothing cannot happens. get a photo of the man. He just disappears. But, oh, that's weird. I'll let you in Very on something, uh, Hughes and Iron Jaw. What the fuck that? was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, that's uh, not good. It's not good. 
Did you say something, Mr. Goodman, on your way over here? It's like the joke you used to make about Mount Mazel Did you say something as you was coming over? I didn't say nothing. Mount Mazel your father? No, the joke you used to make is I get shot so much. Just thought I heard you say something, that was all. We all heard someone say something, so I thought it was you because you was coming over. Look, I'm going to tell you guys something. No. Yes. When we, when Harkness, myself, and Freeman and Yuri Petrov went to the I went to Amberino to look for you. I saw him. How long ago was that? This is maybe a month or two. A month or two. I saw three of them. I've also done reports on it, so if you go through the uh, report, you can actually see the report I did. I, I think right. you boys been playing around in the cold a bit. You know? Maybe getting some... What is it? Apothermia or something? Nope. A bit just, just losing time. a little bit. I think right. last time I made that joke. Don't bring me into this deputy. To Freeman. I, I haven't been. His brother there, threatened yet. to shoot me. Well, that's alright. I haven't, man, I haven't seen. Oh, Mr. Burns, sir. Burns, that's it. I knew it. I've seen. Yeah. I haven't seen that's any of this. Yeah. Well, what's your thoughts on Mr. Burns? Ice. Okay, I haven't looked at the reports. Oh. Mr. Lou has uh, just said there is, that, but it sounds uh, sounds pretty wacky to me. Nah, he's real, trust me. But I, like I said, I haven't looked at those reports, Mr. Lou. Just, uh... Mr. Burns, your brother was the one. Me and your brother were the ones that saw the Hellhounds, and nobody believed us. Until... Hey, I got bit by Hellhound, Hellhound yes. too, so I believe until, it. Fuck's a Hellhound. Until Halloween. Once again, another made-up fairy tale, Mr. Lou. Nope. Yeah, yeah bit me and my wound still hasn't healed. Look, <laughs> you, deputy, you marshals need to get out of New York a bit more and get out of your fancy chairs yeah, like, and come hang out on the field true. a little bit. Well, that's what I'm doing up here, all this report of the mountain man like, and um, all this bullshit. Yeah. It's like when we last went up there. Mate, that First joke. got the Frame bullshit with me. Guama and Hughes and yep. you know, Ames in Mexico. Now this fucking mountain man and the thing. This place is going to shit. Yeah. And like everyone thinks I'm bloody crazy for reporting yeah. these things and I'm the one that's seen them all. Yeah, we're both Wait, crazy. Think of, which fuck. means you're probably fucking crazy. Listen, I no, think not... we are crazy. I've been thinking about it, boys, and I don't yeah, think like... that. Maybe we're can't all. Just appear, disappear. Maybe we're all just a little crazy about justice. Maybe. Maybe I that I can. We, we can't. That. We can't trust anything Hughes says because he lied about having amnesia. Because amnesia is not real. Just, I Hughes, did not. I did not lie amnesia. about that. I did no such thing. Mm -hmm. I'm having a cigarette. This stressed me out. It's a made-up disease. I'm not, a, I'm not a doctor. I'm not making shit so up I can't, for. I can't really comment for, on for that. the fun of it. Yep. It was not like fun. Can't say it. It ain't real. Yeah, so... Yeah, last time I made that joke. <laughs> that was interesting. I have not seen the mountain man. Until I see the mountain man, then I'll say it's real. Yeah, the that's fair. that you haven't seen the mountain man. Yeah, it is. I, mean, I, I say I the same thing I said to Smiley. I'm like, Smiley, you haven't seen the mountain man. It's funny you haven't been around when the mountain man has been around. Yeah, very funny, isn't it? Are you the mountain man? Oh, my God. I do you look remember? like the mountain man. Are you the mountain man? I mean, am I the mountain man? Are you Who's the mountain man? Who? I don't know. I it's just a coincidence I haven't seen. I haven't seen, seen, uh, seen the mountain man and uh, any of the marshals the around. Oh, are you think the, my, the marshals are the mountain man? <laughs> it was a joke. Makes no yeah, fucking no. sense. I am not uh, the mountain man. Uh, no. And the, there maybe Hughes is the mountain man. He's I, amnesia. I, he's going on a little spell. I am not the mountain man. No, nah, he's not the mountain man. We'll see Look. the mountain man. The mountain man is real. Very real. Or maybe yeah. it's Iron Joe, you know, spend all that time in the mountains. We he actually turns into one. I, we look, actually I, thought it could have been. Maybe it's Harkness, but he's stupid fucking dog bite. I am a mountain man. As in, maybe I live it's Mr. Burns over it. Burns? Is that right? Sorry. Apparently, is Harkness Russia? is the son of Yeah, maybe it's Mr. Burns over here with that's his a, little beard. Right. If that's true, yeah. fucking well, myself. I haven't seen the mountain man, so I could be the mountain man. Apparently, Listen, Harkness right. is the, sound, the son of the mountain man. I just made that up. Hope not. It, I if know you my, all... mom, my mom said my dad was from the mountains, so who knows? You all come up to the mountains right now. You're going to see skulls, by, you know, skulls pitched on pitchforks and yep. weird tombstones. Yep. You're going to see mountain the whole town. I've seen it looking for you. Hey, he's been there. How when did it does you... make sense. It doesn't make any sense. And then did you see the wagon train? Yes. Oh, I don't know what to make of, of anything. And every, you know, when I was up there for months, there were so many nice people up there. I'm telling you, Mountain Law, really, we should bring Mountain yeah. Law to the whole, <laughs> every yeah. state. 
Uh, my question to you, I enjoy. Look, did you Angel, visit... between you and the beans, conspiracy theories is your thing. You just, you just Definitely a little loopy are. like that. That's right. We like you. Just loopy. Um, my question is, did you go to Lester Flat's house, little cabin? Fucking Lester. I tried to tried to burn it down, but uh, this uh, uh, snow Lester? is too strong. Yeah, Lester to Flat down. is what they call the Mountain Man. Oh, okay, oh, okay. I, yeah, I see. I'm with the you. Mountain Man's real name was Lester Wait. Flat. He yep. was up there in the mountains, had a little shack, he fucked around a little bit, and he ate, ate people. people. But we never proved he ate people. We okay, just said he ate people. Oh, oh, actually, is there another a little river. cabin there now? A brick cabin. There's a and then, the um, yeah, so they reckon the Mountain Man's back, but we shot him with cannons, Gatling guns. Chuck him on him fire. Hole. What else we do to him? Hung him. Electrocuted him. him. No chuck chuck him in a glacier. There's, There's no the way he survives that. That's... He's dead. He's dead. He's got to be no, dead. No, he ain't come back from no. that. That's Even if he did, he wouldn't have any limbs. That's the yeah, thing. I was threw what was left of his torso down that glacier, but I've still seen him. Then where did his limbs wait. come from? Hold on. George, you threw right, his body yeah. down there? George, That's... remember. What? When we chucked him in there, there was that massive lightning bolt that came down and hit him. That's right. That's right. I had, I had his torso, which was pretty much headless, armless, and legless, and I threw it down the crack in the glacier, and then like I said, boom, lightning strike. Mr. Hughes, do you Everywhere. remember? Do you remember when we made it back to Valentine, and we had Freeman, we were taking his body, and the mountain man appeared behind him, Valentine? I wanted to eat him. Do I don't remember? know if I remember that. Oh. Yeah, he left a note saying, I believe it. leave him here. He He's, was there. He could he go my stew. Yep, he appeared. In Valentine. And you, you boys have done like a, a fingerprint test to confirm it was less of a flat? I'll tell you, I'll catch little I have photographic proof. Hold up. Oh, then yeah. we saw him at the funeral too. Do you think? Right. Photographic Is it proof. the same photographic proof, Mr. Hughes and no. Angel? No, oh, have... different. I have one. In, if you look up report, hold up. I got a theory going on that uh, there used to be the witch's Valentine. A what we saw today. Valentine. Wait, there is a witch in Valentine? Yes. Like right she now? She gives people eyebrows. She gives people eyebrows. Yep. I've met this yeah, she witch. Takes them. She was on fire the other night, and uh, I don't know if she melted or not, because I threw a bucket of water on her because oh, she was on right. fire, but it made it worse. So I'm not I'm not sure what the go is of that Remember witch. Remember Willie Jones? All right. Nigel? Yeah. He has eyebrows. Sorry, Mr. Lee, which report was it? Right. Look. So now I want you gentlemen... I'm going to sit down. I want you to think about... All right, so you need to go on duty for a second. Good enough. Think about T slash MDT. I'd never do that on the back of a horse. I want you to search, go to incident reports. Never on the back. And then I want you to look up Iron Jaw. It's report number 119 and 138. You will see everything you need to in there. Uh -huh. I log everything. You will see a photo of the mountain man. You will see a photo of the wolves that attacked us, the bears. So you think the mountain man, aka Lester Flat, has control over the wolves and the bears in the snow? I don't. Be I don't believe that it may be Lester in a physical form. I may be. You think, think it's uh, Lester in a non physical form? What were those form? report numbers Quite again? Possibly. 119, 138. If you type, uh, sorry, if you uh, write your name down in the uh, the top of the notepad, you'll see, just write Iron Jaw and you'll see missing person. Oh, Iron Hughes, Jaw. you got pretty close to him, didn't you? The who? This mountain man fella. Oh, we had him. We 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 grabbed him, but then, well, Bye. Iron Jaw slapped the handcuffs on me <laughs> by accident instead of the mountain Compton. man Compton. we we don't use handcuffs up in the mountain or so, so i didn't use them for a while what are you used in the mountain so you touched him well, it's all about communication you sit down two parties and you hash it out and everyone's happy so you touched him you grabbed him we couldn't he was on top of the mountain while we were not you oh, oh we got him we he still got my handcuffs out there somewhere right so he is here in the physical form because these boys touched. Yeah, we got handcuffs on. Meaning it can't be Lester Flat. I mean, did anyone check that the man we executed was Lester Flat? Actually, well, we did it. Okay, so honestly, uh, we did we not? Um, on the first yeah, time we did, you know, did, first fuck up did we do it the did? second time though? That's my question. I, I think anyone? I think Ford checked. Yes, Marshall Ford checked. 
Are we sure? Because yeah. he no, did not want a repeat of Waters. Uh, there's more to this, actually. Well, how can you trust Marshall Ford when a Marshall Waters did the same thing? I how also to... want to find out. So Freeman and I, before Freeman passed away, okay, we Where'd figured out. Man? Strong. Yeah, well, Freeman and I realized that we hung uh, a Roy Clark. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Some you guys murdered an innocent man. Okay, so we hung oh, Roy Clark. The crazy Marshall murdered him. Now, that's real quick. Cool. Yeah, go. I looked at those reports, Lou, and it, like, I, I can't see any photos in them. Okay, we'll talk about this later then. Um, huh. Now, <laughs> okay, so firstly, question one. Did Lester Flat have any children? Number two, did, uh, isn't the, uh, isn't the uh, Attorney General's name Roy Clark? The big man? Yeah, so how's he still yeah. alive? The Roy Clark. Man. Who said isn't... Roy Clark? Who knew? Me. What? I did. Yeah. yeah, Roy Clark, Roy, Roy Clark was, um, was the Governor Roy. He was the... That's right. We hung another Roy Clark. Yeah, you you hung the Roy Clark that told us he was Governor Roy. Uh, so... You hung the same man that told us about how he was keeping his eyes on the mountain man. Oh, yes. But... Well, All right, Joel. well, Freeman and I were looking at two other suspects with a similar name. This could be a crazy idea. Yeah. Maybe the mountain man put his fingerprints on someone else. Maybe we didn't hang the mountain man. Maybe we oh, think shit. we hung the mountain man. Or that he's got a, a lot of sense. Or he's got a son out there. Freeman what? and I sat there for maybe two, three days looking into this. Tying up old leads. Freeman had the old reports. I had the new reports. Oh, my God. I, this whole Freeman. time, I've been hiding in the shit, mountains, man. thinking that people think I'm crazy for thinking that the mountain man's back. No. Ah, he's back. I think you're crazy, to be we're frank. We're trying to. We were trying to tie in loose, like tie in all different leads together. Number one, we didn't even see, think to see if he had kids or not, if he was married, who he was married to. He Maybe. talked about. All right, boys, we're talking around in circles now. Good Maybe. evening. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I'm done. Mount Man's exist. No. Yes, I do. End of exertion. Oh, now. you said it. Right now, so it's when an incident comes through, if there's a crime or someone reports yeah. to the sheriffs, how do we know about that? So, uh, so say that again. So we've if got it, the MDT, but then yep. was it alert? What was uh, the uh, alert doesn't work. About? So yeah, so what you want if you want to if you want to put in an alert, that's T slash alert sheriff to say where you are. Uh, like it used to be. Is. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, and how do we view those? How do you view those? So, Slash, oh, big CA. It's still CA. Oh, good. Okay. Yep. So the th different things now are when you get a drug sale, uh, it will blip on your map a little bit for a short time. So you want to Did they at... ask for backup, by the way? Did uh, uh, Smiley put through a request? Only two at bank robbery <laughs> requests I, backup um, needed. I'm not on duty, so I didn't see yeah. it. All right. I just saw that. I went on duty, and that's what I can see. Oh, all right. We're gonna have to if we. All right, I'll have to go with uh, go through it another time with you guys. Which then. which bank is it? Um, I got a funny answer for that, but uh, I think it was Saint Denis. What didn't they say, Saint Denis? Uh, Saint Denis. Uh, if it's Saint Denis, we can go catch a boat over. Wait, oh I boy! Think they did. Oh no! No, we can't. No, we can't. Uh, no, we can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why I'm do sorry. you keep forgetting? I'm sorry. I have a bad memory myself. Oh my God! Go, go, bitch. The last few days I've spent with uh, Mr. Lou, uh, Mr. Hughes, he, he loves his boats. Fuck off. Yes, he does. I'm serious, so he's yes. on boats we all the time. We're heading to Saint Denis. Does, I mean, if there's five of us here, we're fine to ride together, then I'll break off once we get there. Oh, we're, we're fine. Oh. Oh. Hey, Hans. My horse is, uh... Doing better than that one. Yeah, better than that one. How you doing?
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hans. Hang in there. Keeping up with them. I'm surprised I've got this hole up there. Very easy. Oh, who's catching up? It's me! George. Onyx is oh, trying man. best he can! Onyx is doing a great job. It's a nice horse, Onyx. What type of horse is that? A fox trot? I don't know. Is fox trot or? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I think it might be that. That's nice, I've got. This is Chopper that I got from Rhodes all those days ago. Oh my God. 
<laughs> he called you about the mountain. That's great. That's dedication. Uh oh. I think my game is about to crash. Yep. The game has crashed. Rip. Oh dear. Big F in chat. All right, give me a sec. Quick, quick, quick. Hurry. Uh, we were just getting, we were on the outskirts of Rhodes. We were getting close to Rhodes. Sing your song about a place over <laughs> Hey, Toaster. Out in the west oh, where cake. the cowboys ride. It's a land called Diablo with a wild side. In Diablo or P with a bench never ends. Outlaws and lawmen around every bend Chasing dreams in the desert heat In the heart of the wild where the stories meet In the dusty saloon when the piano does play As the characters come out to sway the jewelers and drifters were great in their Oh my god, quick Oh. So they were heading to Saint Denis. Oh. Yeah, Woodman's always got these um Woodman's always got the funny disguises, it's great. Oh, Richard Dome won the election. Let's go. Yes. Nice. Valdemar voted for um Dome, put in an, an early postal vote yesterday at the Communist Party meeting. <laughs> Oh no! Oh 
Oh no, me horseshoes. Gotta get to the stable. Lucky it's coming up. running on foot. <laughs> Look at the run! Oh, he's not doing it anymore. Howdy, part. Deity Prime, thank you for the work. go find the others. Too, mister. I'm gonna go see Mr. Down. I'll oh, be safe out there. Gonna... Who the hell is this guy? Who are you? Howdy, partner. My name's George Hughes. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hughes. My name's uh, Elijah Williams. Nice to meet you, Mr. Williams. Oh, that's a mighty fine horse you got there. It is. He's a good boy. What sort of breed is it? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Oh, all right. Shit. I, I don't. I, I would, but I don't know. Mr. Hughes, we're well, just going up it. to the clothing store because I need to get into uh, some better clothes. All right. You know, Richard. smoking's not good for your lungs, Mister. Oh, no, my it brain is. is hurting, hurting like hell. Oh, maybe you should see a doctor. I don't, I don't like doctors. They, they don't usually give me anything positive. Shit, that's not very good. And these cigarettes are meant to help with the, my head and the clarity and whatnot. Wait, but Hey, watch your numbers. Maybe try some chewing tobacco. Really? Chew it? Yeah. Yeah, chew it, you know. Oh. It's good. Makes Thanks. your breath smell nice. Munch on a sip. cigarette? Ugh. Chew on a few of those. You just slip them up into your top gums and, you know, suck on it a little. Oh, you are hey. fat fuck that does that with cake. Oh. Oh my god, chewing tobacco, this is what I'm looking for. What have they done to our cigarettes? I know. It's like they're putting grass in it or something. It's disgusting. Where do you get this chewing tobacco from? The doctors. They can sell you chewing tobacco. Where's the doctor around here? I think it's just down the road behind me, you know? You can 
paid just, a doctor to get some chewing tobacco. You paid some? And then you, you send, is it tele, telephone down there? I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I need some of this. Ah. Oh my God, oh I'm my. trying to, <laughs> holy shit. Chewing tobacco made me slip. I just, I slipped on these, I'm so sorry. Arms are crossing that. I'm sorry. Oh, I no. really like that. Oh, I'm really sorry. Hurt my I slipped. It's chewing tobacco made me put my arms across my chest. It was old. Come on, on Joe. You got to remember your own strength. I'm, I'm, you you got a bit of a head spin. I'm sorry, sir. Should we go back to the station? Well, let's, what do I have for you, sir? I don't know. Give me something that relieves pain in the left right, of my right. face. Oh. I love myself some coffee. Kidney beans, what go. the hell? Kidney beans and some coffee. It's, that's how I mm. get rid of my headache every morning. Oh, they good. I think they, I think they make you get a little, get, you know, get a fat bone. Fat. Exactly. You know, you hey, mean, uh, get like mountains. a little fat and you, you, you let it rip. Oh, you totally beans. Beans, no, be, no, beans are okay. Beans, just... beans and musical fruit. Mm -hmm. What makes you fart? What makes you toot? I'll tell you later. What I like to say on the well, I've been told. Wait, we're not supposed to eat beans? I'll tell you later. What's wrong with beans? Beans are fine. They make you fat. Yeah, yeah, beans are hard for you. You'll enjoy them. I'm, I'm going to go down to the doctors. I've never actually looked at what the doctors sell. Hey, look, I can show you. Follow me. And let's go. That chewing tobacco was amazing. It's pretty good, isn't it? Amazing. These cigarettes. Ah, uh, cigarettes, just the, you know. I think they got them. some sort of cocaine gum or something, too. Yes. No, they don't. Do they really? Yes, they do. Oh, my God. That explains... Oh, crazy. You're probably very upset if you heard you say that about us. The Freeman was here and hearing him say that we're crazy. Yeah, well, I was a nice man. Yeah, well, he did try to shoot me when I said I was a mountain man's son, so. Where's the shot front in this place? There's nice, got little lads everywhere. Not That's sure. Nice. I'm not sure if they chill in this building here. or the next building. That's a good question. Get over here, over here. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Darkness, what have they got? Find it. I've got chewing tobacco and all that. I'm not sure if they sell it here, but yeah, I know in Rhodes they sell yeah, it. It's over it's here. It's some cocaine gum? That yeah, can't it's like be legal. Some, it's like some tacky stuff in your mouth, you know, it's chewy. Oh. Now, chewing tobacco, I understand. It makes you run very quick. Jesus, those needles look scary. Dude, I can't believe George... Morphine. I hope you're okay. No, it's you had you you did what you had to do. We were in a hard though. place. You what know, happened? I was holding on to those. <laughs> and no, those are. I just George got into some trouble, fell over. Oh shit! Don't, that's not oh, very good. You know, oh. you didn't even use a bandage. I, well, you can use a bandage if someone's on the ground. Yeah, you know, you treat their wounds, bandage it up, right on your way. Really? Yeah. Oh, it looks like we might have to make a quick movement. So we, 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 we're going to have to go do some department business. Oh, okay. You have fun. Oh, nice thank you. Thank you, you for too. showing me the shop. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, I'm glad I got some chewing tobacco. See you guys around. See ya. Yes. No, see you around. Those beans are pretty good, you know. I hope you enjoy them. 
Where, where's my horse? Tell me. All right. I right, take care now. You too, Mr. Ironjaw. Range, Ironjaw, use. Please on jump up here, Mr. Hughes. Oh, no. Thanks. Please, I'm and you. What the hell? Thanks. Cheerio. Where'd the others go? They're just in front of us, aren't they? No, we can just go to the apartment. A bunch of us went back there, so. Really Seems a lot happening in Strawberry. Yeah, probably should be going to Strawberry. Cheerio, amigos. All right, we'll swing by the department there. George. And then we can, because I don't really want to just go to Strawberry or two of it. All right. Strawberry or two of it. Yeah, we'll This man, did he have anything else besides just... Uh, two, two cocaine bags, that's it. Simple that's all? Alright, perfect. Sounds like two linemen in there, at least. I'll, see who's in. I'll just look through the window real quick. I only see, I only see Lou in there and I think somebody else in there. I think I see another one or two with him. Just in case it's been a bit diggy. Uh, what's your number there, friend? 155. Go in this corner. 155. Oh, so, like I said, um, no. How about no. Uh, which one? The bank robbery or the, the best? Um, so, I was on a boat with uh, Max with another gentleman. Well, I guess Seven we had our Mr. Hughes. Right. I was, on a, I was on a boat the other night from, the, from Blackwater with Squiz, Mac, and another gentleman. Eight. Just slipped by. Dumped them in my pocket. I'm not sure which one gave them to me. Hey, Burns, wait up for me. I won't be long. Oh, hold on. Give me the wait. Hold on. Let me go see what he. Yes, yes. Because I didn't, I didn't see him after we mounted up. Yeah, I completely lost him. Right. Do we know who's, who was the uh, lawman who? Sent out the alert? Uh, it could have been uh, any civilian that sent out the alert. Oh. All uh, right. We just seen the alert, like the people in town with long arms, and then we just had the drug report. Ah, so. oh, shit. That's ringing bells. 
there's been a lot of uh, a lot of robberies going on in Strawberry. Oh, so, really? Uh, at the moment, we uh, we have an understanding with uh, the the population there at the moment that while we're if we're in town, we expect long arms off, but um, while we're not around, you know, we can't see what happens. Oh. So they're they're probably just walking around with their long arms on because we haven't been up there for quite some time. Last I remember, Strawberry became a bit of a nasty place. Yeah, well, I, well, I've heard of quite a few reports of uh, some robberies going on up that way. Oh dear. I don't really know the lay of the land just yet, Mr. Yu, so I'm sort of sticking to the road, so I'd be... Uh, no, mind. that's... that's fine. I think you never know, you, we could find something even more serious along the road, on the way to this. Oh, exactly. And it's always... it's always people out and about that are, uh... You know, run into a bit of strife sometimes out on the... on the road. <laughs> Is your horse all right to gallop again, Mr. Hughes? Yep.
quite the ride. It is. <laughs> Even another bridge. Yeah. Wait, that's where we came from before. Yeah, we just came oh. this way, Mr. Hughes. Oh my God, I don't miss We're that. Riding, riding all over the country. What is this? Alright, what is it? Any gents? What do we got here? Good. Ran into me then Harkness on our way to that, you know, that report. Yeah. And uh so seemed to have not quite sure if he's fallen out of his, you know. I don't know, he can't seem to talk. Oh but... no! Oh! 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 Where'd he go? I think he's head. I don't yeah. know. I might have to Handcuffed him just in case he was gonna try and make a run for it, but it seems he might be stuck. <laughs> Holy yeah, don't, shit! Damn it. Don't get too close Ow. to the horse. He's, he's horse all. His horse actually fractured with River Mine a couple of weeks ago. Oh, right. oh no. It'll come back and it'll kick you again, too. Look, we just need to let George hang out with that horse for a few minutes, and I think then vengeance will be served. I don't know if you've heard about this, Burns, oh, but no, George is that's... old nickname. No! No! He's George the Glue Maker. Believe it's what? Uh, George the Glue Maker. It's not my glue fault. Maker. All these. Dipshits recruit back in the day couldn't keep in formation. George killed uh, a number of horses. How many, George? Too many to count. That's right. I feel bad that he's handcuffed and, you know, he's having a nap. Hopefully he wakes back up because uh, I think, I don't know if you wake up handcuffed. Yeah, I'm not too sure either. Oh, it sucks to be him. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, that no, it. Right, well, I don't know if we should head into, you know, Strawberry. How long do you think he'd be? Well, I've got a captain, a deputy marshal, and a corporal here. I'm sure you're all capable of making decisions. So, I'm going to step <laughs> this way. Yeah, we might as well fuck it. He'll be fine. Oh, no. Hey, let's go. Woodman wouldn't last two seconds in the mountain, I'll tell you that much. How many joints, too? Woodman would not pass a single one of those mountain laws. <laughs> what, Willie Jones? Willie Jones, Woodman. Dunny Doo when he was around. Remember Dunny? Oh, Dunny. He was oh, no, I, he? it seems I've got amnesia again. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. that's, 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 oh fuck, he was an interesting fella. I think what? Is that how it works, Mr. Hughes? It turns on and off? That's right. Ah. Crazy how the mind works. Yep. Here's what happened in the town, see what's going on. Is that the sheriff? Is that the marshal? I'm gonna ask you to respect the laws while you're here. 
I'm gonna go look for Woodman. Oh, I'll be back, but you guys stay you here. You very confident there, boys. Oh, I'm still speaking to you the same way, aren't I? Well, seems like there's a little tremble in your voice. Is there? Oh, uh, calm down, mate. Well, we're all about respect here, mate. Oh! oh, oh apparently yours ain't. Yeah, he's, he's not very respectful at all. Yeah, well. Well, just making sure you boys just keep those long arms off your back while you're in town. You gotta respect the law. If I knew you were around, I definitely would have taken them off. My apologies. Glad to hear it, boys. Well, if you do need anything else, you just shout out to your local sheriffs, alright? No problem. Thanks, gents. Thank you. Cool. Just, just gonna get rid of my... Where I saw someone on a giant white horse with uh, someone bundled over the back. And I uh, where they came into the jail and dropped them off around here. Hmm. Yeah, I saw someone just briefly before, but I had to quickly deal with that. Can I just say, boys, holy shit, your time is impeccable. <laughs> yeah, we kind of Mr. Woodman run us over. We try, Marshall. Oh, oh I, man, I, I, something. I couldn't yeah, believe I was, my eyes when I saw y'all coming across the thing. I was, I was, I was about we, to draw the shotgun there. And yeah, well, things were getting a little, you know, you know, they were getting a little too confident. Oh, that's how they are around Strawberry, I believe. Lou's told me quite a, quite a few tales. So, yeah, well, as long as they're out here respecting the laws, like, and as I, and as I expect everyone to do, I don't care if you get the situation. I still expect you to enforce the law, even if you are outnumbered, but. You know, I don't feel you don't feel obliged to take force if they refuse and do so. Be do enforce the law, but be smart about it. I believe Iron Jaw just went back out of town because uh, Woodman was in handcuffs and he uh, he may have popped had a, had a bit of a brain in, aneurysm and uh, I'm not sure. I, I said to him, I'm not sure if he comes back in with cuffs or not. So, uh, of course, of course, it's Woodman. <laughs> I think he ran. He ran into, into Harkness and Iron Jaw. I believe as he yeah. as he's. Where the fuck is Iron Jaw? We were just. No, we're I just, just said. Saying. He just. I think he just said he went to check on to see if Woodman come back. Ah. Oh. Good, Barna. Hello. Yeah. What seems to be happening here? It's a bounty. Oh, it's a bounty. Yes. Oh, who who you got here? Um. Not quite sure of the name. I'm just going to get it off the horse before it goes mental. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So you've got a bounty, but you don't know his name. No, I didn't pick up his nameplate. Uh, I see what he's watching us. You uh, can't explain to me, Barna. Um, explain. So you got a bounty, but you don't know who it is. I've been given a location. Oh, I understand what you mean, partner. My apologies. I, I thought you were bringing in a civilian. Oh, that's what I, I thought know. he was bringing yeah, in. Yeah, sorry, partner. He's, he's <laughs> quite large to be in normal. Yeah, they don't, they, they don't usually give you a name. They just tell you to go oh, out and do it. Oh, I see. Yeah, yes. no, I thought he was bringing somebody. Yeah, somebody that's what I thought version. as well. My, my, my apologies, partner, yeah, for yeah. stopping you there. I'm glad you were out there cleaning up the street. Yes. Um. Well... <laughs> um, what's that? No, no, that's nothing. Carry on. Uh, we you will get your you way. You carry on about your day, sir. Well, don't don't let us stop you. All right. I saw I will do. On, you might awesome. see me around here because, um, I think we're going to bring him in. Here. He's a bit, he's a bit Perfect. Perfect. I think it's ready. Um, I'm gonna go back out on the outskirts of town and check on Iron Joe because he's been quite a while. All good. Yeah. Well, we might as well go because we ain't got anything else really to see here. We've been here for long enough. But we'll come with you. I think they got a thing for you, Marshall. Smiley, so I like looking at you. Yeah, that's fine. Let him look. Let him admire. Yo, descendant. Mate, just, you know, doing some cheeky RP, mate. You know how it is. Oh, thanks for asking. All right. Well, you don't have a horse, Harkness. I don't know what horse is. Can't call it. Thank you for the resub, mate. 44 months. I have no idea what my horse is, actually. Enjoy Sorry your day, that. gentlemen. Have fun. Always do. Yeah, mate. Don't swing too hard.
And of course, my horseshoes are broken. God damn it. That that is not impeccable timing. Yep. Just take out wagon again. I think I used all my luck just about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I might need to take my wagon. We're almost at the wagon. Now, yeah. Look, like, I don't those, mind. Uh, like, I've had my fair share of every now and again yeah, need to uh, ask for a lift because the my food's balance. arrived or I gotta yep. go around to the bathroom or something, and it's imperative that we get moving straight away. But then, like, when people do it all the time. Yeah, I probably should, actually. You can drive then. Oh, like, when they do it all the time, yep. I think it's just a bit. Well, I can drive if you want. You know, it's like, know. oh, you can ride for me. You know, it's that kind of attitude. Yeah. Like, Oh, you know, I'll go just do whatever. But that is finding Idril. But you can ride for okay, me. It's, it's just seeing... I don't like that. Maybe. And it's not just Harkness. Like, there's been a other people. And it's like, along. get yourself a fucking horse. That's the fucking game. Oh, Descendant, dude. Nerves are good. Nerves are good if you keep it under control. It'll keep you on your toes. If you had a... Make sure you do everything right. You'll be good, mate. Gentlemen, how we doing? Not too shabby, sir. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Y'all all right? Yeah, uh, my friend just uh, kind of went in his head a little bit back there, and uh, for some reason it just kicked him off my wagon. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, if, with your permission, sir, if I can uh, hog time and just put him in the back of my my wagon. Uh, if he can get if he can get that working, sure. But yeah, no, that's fine. If he's in the head, have to be able to. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, here's my test. Hey, partner. One of the brown coat, y'all good? All right, yeah, you can uh, do what you need to do. I appreciate that, sir. All right, you take care of yourself. You shout out if you need anything. I will do. Thank you very much. Take care. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have none of this in Mexico. Was yeah, it, was well, it around here said... somewhere, guys? Was it where was it? Was it around here somewhere, Harkness? A bit further. Uh, fuck. It's around here somewhere. I also haven't been paid for that long either. This is nice. I hope you ain't expecting to get it from the ledger. Oh, what? what three, three months of back pay? Well, if you're offering, Marshall, geez, shucks. Yeah. There's no money in the ledger. You can afford it. Nope, not with the. Tell you what. Have you seen the ledger? Uh, not, not recently. It's uh, twenty thousand. But then, but, but then put a minus in front of that. Uh, oh, that's less than I did. Yeah, well, just means Pretty we gotta sure get y'all out there. Before I left. Yeah, it was. Who the hell's been embezzling funds? Oh, we've been going around trying to just figure out who. I'm pretty sure we passed the location where uh, where I and Joel, what uh, should have been. I didn't see yeah, anything. Yeah, we did. Oh, that was weird. Well, what's the plan? Well, I say right now we just head back to Valentine for now. Alrighty. Damn it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Don't rip this thing. Oh my god. They're gonna die. Hang on, see if I can rip this thing like I used to. I 
that. That was smooth. That was the best one that was. Oh my god. Some of the things you're not going to want to know, Vale. <laughs> Do you know cactuses I'm thinking are the exact fantastic same thing. source of water? You kick one of those, some bitches open, and you got yourself drinking water for at least two days. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Also, make, uh, like called tequila, I think they call them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been absolutely out of my mind drunk. Oh, God. It's Death Bridge repeat. That way could have been that could have been Death Bridge 2.0. If you remember that Ash. I nearly had deja vu there. Yeah, but if the young guns don't see me drinking, it's fine. But it's not about what the young guns see, it's about just the general. <laughs> Toaster remembers. I don't like the way all this is another pet peeve of mine. I don't like the way a lot of the lawmen take shortcuts when they're not in a hurry. Like, when they're not, like, chasing someone. I prefer taking the roads and shit. Unless it's, like... That's good, because I don't drink when I'm on a, duty. A, I like, a dangerous I scenario. And I put my badge on. But that's, that's just me. But I'm also the guy that gets annoyed now, when people just sprint everywhere, like, like, all the time. Honey dude, it was all about. And what was that? What's this is just gonna just, just like uh, gonna get the criminals and put them in the jailses. Don't. You remember that? I Don't. remember that. No. <laughs> oh, oh. remember that. Oh, the amnesia's back. Don't remember Dunny, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> Fucking Dunny. What's this is you means is you know some remembers and some means and Jesus. Well, I think that's my time to uh, go get some paperwork done. Well, it's pretty good. I think it's quite quite a good impression. Yeah, I'll be honest, it was actually pretty good. What do you think, Hughes? Hate it. <laughs> I hate I hate everything about it. That oh, was a good. Yep. Mm. Oh, whoops. Uh, you're off Hank, duty, Mister. I really hope you're off duty. Oh, gee, look at that. Now, Ames, I'm going to have the same conversation I had to have with some of the other uh, members of the sheriffs, uh, sheriffs that have come back from the old times. It's, uh, it's a little different now, and you can't be doing that stuff in front of me. I just remember, SOPA still guidelines. Exactly. Soap, or is it Marshall Ames has it? They're just guidelines. They're not guidelines. They are. They're procedures, for starters. Well, you said I can drink when I'm not on duty. I'm not on duty. Yeah, well, some of the uh, uh, procedures are a little bit. Yeah. Hey, it's going in his book. All right, well, I'm going to bed. I've had a busy day. Not George. It's still in mountain uh, law in the mountains. Good night. Doing hard work. Mountain mountain law. God damn. Damn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strangle that iron jaw. Hey, do you Man, know there is Mountain Law? Mountain Law sounds really good, actually. Yeah, Gordon's a Mountain Law, you can drink while on duty. Oh. And you can talk it out. You don't have to <laughs> shoot each other. Good night, everybody. Good, good night, night Mr. Hughes. Hughes. Ugh.
Bedtime. <laughs>